by you. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> Who am I? It's not a problem. <laughs> what I want is for you to stay away from going to the police station with the evidence. Are you, are you trying to scare me or threaten me? I don't know, please. <laughs> Do you feel threatened? Do you feel scared? Yeah, you should be. Because if you try going to the police station with the evidence, I will kill you and kill your family. My boss lady wants you to stay away. Hope he caught me right. Baby, calm down. Calm down, you're safe. You're with me, all right? Stay calm. I need you to put yourself together. I'll be good. Now you can talk to me, all right? That's all. I'm here with you. So, what happened? Calm down. I'm listening. Charlie. Listen. You recall I told you about the the money laundry activities going on in my company. Oh, sure you did. What about it? Someone went to tell boss lady that I am snooping around and gathering evidence. And then she, she sent someone who held a knife to my, to my neck. What? And he threatened to kill me and everyone around me that if, if I take the evidence to the police, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Now you can see this is looking more dangerous than I think. You think your boss is capable of killing? We don't have to wait to find the answer to that. Forget about this and look the other way, woman. You and I have a girl in this house. A daughter in this house that you and I have to train. You can't go on like this. This is exactly what boss lady wants to achieve. She wants to get me scared so that I can turn my face away and then she can continue with her criminal activities. Unfortunately for her, I, Juliette, will do everything within my capacity to get her captured with the law. I will make sure I do everything. Sweetheart, the change we preach begins with us. Oh, come on, baby. You don't take decision in a haste. You don't do that. Think about this and the safety of this family. Family comes first. Besides, you and I don't even know how far the boss lady is willing to go to put things in the dark. We need to fight back. I, I know. But we have to. Boss we need lady, to fight. Boss lady, 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 boss
I thought we can talk this out like two civil people. It doesn't have to be ugly. And we can come to a compromise. It's your idea of compromise is me pretending that I don't know that you're using the, the company to clean your dirty money, that you've got it all wrong. Who said you can just look away? No, intelligent people don't look away, but for a fee, I intend to compensate you. We can go back to the way we were before after compensation. So name your price. You think my loyalty to the law and my country is for sale? Or do you think my integrity and morals can be bought by your stupid money? Everyone's got a price, sweetheart. We can do this the civil way. However, if you refuse to name a price, then I will assume that you want it the hard way. Get your money out of my house. Get your dirty money out of my house. You think I am scared of you? No, I am not. Look deep into my eyes. I am that woman that will take you to jail. And I mean every word I just said. Get the hell out of my house. Wow. <laughs> I love people with F on tree. Integrity. Intelligency. Packaged in one person. Super. Bravo. Sweet. You should be thinking about your loved ones if you are not thinking about yourself. You see, we can do this. All you need to do is get rid of the evidence so we can go back to the way we were before. Name your price. I will be one phone call away if you change your mind. I can't wait to see you in the dark. Where the law will find your guilty and lead you to where criminals like you belong. House lady, house lady, house lady, house lady. Oh, she said heartless mother. She said heartless mother. House lady, house lady, house lady. Oh, house mother. Blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, blood hungry. She's a heartless woman, oh, yeah, 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 oh, she's a heartless mother, look at the face of wickedness, someone who has no value for human life, a clear example of wickedness, or oh, she enjoys to take someone's life away, she only care for herself. She is self-centered, no value for human she life. Oh. She's a monster, blood sucking demon. Yeah. Honey, are you okay? You seem lost. I'm fine. I am just nervous about the court hearing tomorrow. I'm so worried. I know how you feel. She seems very dangerous. The boss lady and I do not have a good feeling about this. Listen to me, baby. You're going to put up a call tonight and tell her you're no longer interested in testifying against her anymore. You know that's not going to be possible. I am a potential threat to this woman because I know a lot about her. It's not going to be easy, of course I know. And she will never back out. Of course she'll come after me because I know a lot of things about her. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You need to be extremely careful. This woman is dangerous. What are you talking about? Darling, you have to... Listen to me, listen to me, listen. 
They said she's ruthless. And she's capable of doing all the imaginable things. She's one enemy nobody wants to have. What are you talking about? Back off! She's one enemy nobody wants to have. Darling, please. You just have to calm down. I have already reported the threats to the police. <laughs> and they're sending their officers to come and protect me. In fact, they're going to protect everyone that is around me. Please, you just have to calm down. I will make sure that they lock her up. What? Here you go again. Bring it in the police into this. Listen to me. I need you to think deeply over this. For the sake of this family. The family comes first. You can do this. Don't worry, Danny. Everything is going to be fine. Please. Baby, I'm worried for your safety. Please. It's okay. You need to be careful. I know. Lady, boss lady, oh, she's a heartless murderer, boss lady, whoa, yeah. hey, blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, blood hungry, hey, she's a heartless woman, no, yeah, yeah, whoa. She's a heartless murderer. Look at the face of wickedness. Someone who has no value for human life. A clear example of wickedness. All she enjoys to take someone's life away. She is self-centered. No value for human life. Oh. She's a monster, blood sucking demon. Yeah. Where is she? She's not in the house. Find her and get rid of her. Blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, blood hungry. She's a heartless woman. Heartless murderer, look at the face of wickedness. Someone who has no value for human life. A clear example of wickedness. All she enjoys to take someone's life away. She only gave her selfish desire. She is self-centered. No value for human she life. 
She's a monster, blood sucking demon. Well, she's going to be fine. Luckily, there were no major complications, just a minor fracture. Is she still unconscious? Yes, she became unconscious after the car accident. She was in deep shock. But I assure you, we have administered some medications and she's going to be all right. I pray so. I became so scared. You have nothing to worry about. We will try our best to make sure she's fine. That's okay. I'll just wait for her until she regains consciousness. All right. Thank you. I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just wanna be home again. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of the dark. Please do not push me away. What is my offense? What is my offense? Tell me where I went wrong, mommy. What is Hey, I relax. You're safe. You're okay. What am I doing here? It's okay. Who are you? Um, my name is Derek. But there was an accident, so I brought you here. Um, can you remember your name? Um, okay, can you remember where you live? Yes, but please don't take me back there. If you bad man and woman, they, they will kill me the way they killed my mommy. Please. Okay, that's fine. No one's going to kill you, okay? You're safe, I promise you. But give me a second, I need to call the doctor or the nurse to look at you, alright? Just give me a second. Just relax. You're safe. Everything is fine now. All right. Now quickly get the nurse to look at you. Okay. Just wait. I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. I just wanna be home again mm -hmm. I'm afraid of the dark 
Please do not push me away. What is my event? Tell me where I went wrong, mommy. What is my event? I just want to be loved. Oh. What is my event? Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me what to do To make you take me as your own no. Please don't make me cry Hello? Hey babe Yeah. You good? Something very scary happened today, but I'd rather tell you when you come. I don't want to talk about it on the phone. When you get back, I'll tell you what happened. All right. Um, okay, that's fine. I'll wait for you. Love you. Take care. All right. Tried to shoot me. He's wicked. I tried to run hey, away. Hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. It's okay. You just had a dream, okay? You just had a nightmare. It's not real. Look at me. You're safe with me. Nothing bad is going to happen to you, okay? All right? Yeah. I'm here with you. You're you're safe. <laughs> Promise me you're not going to send me away. Promise me you're not going to leave me, please. I, I promise you, I won't leave you. I'm not going to send you away. Listen to me, I won't leave you, okay? You're here with me and you're safe with me, okay? All right? Yeah. Listen, the big black man or big bad man or whoever you saw is not coming here, okay? All right? Can I sleep in your room today? That is the only way I can feel safe. Please. Listen, I am here with you. And nothing is going to happen to you, I promise you. Okay? Okay. I'm here in this room with you. Come. Go back to sleep. Come. It's okay, I'm here with you, okay? Hmm? You're safe. I'll protect you, okay? Okay? Alright, I'll go get you a duvet. A blanket so you can cover up. Alright? Okay? I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. I just wanna be home again mm -hmm. I'm afraid of the dark Please do not push me away What is my event? So is it my fault? Wait, are you blaming me? If you were fast enough, that girl wouldn't have outrun you in the first place Are you seeing her as innocent and doesn't deserve to die? There is no way she can go to the police. That girl is very little and scared. Perhaps traumatized as a result of what she saw and cannot get her voice. 
And if it turns out that she is not as timid and weak as you have painted, what then happens to me? Should I bet my life with all that I have worked for on the fact that the only material witness to proving me as the murderer of the key witness is being traumatized and incapacitated to do me anything? Wait a second. Jumbo, are you suddenly growing conscience? Should I get someone else to do the job? I'm sorry, boss. That was so thoughtless of me. I must make sure I find that girl and get rid of her before she speaks. Get to work. Because if anything goes wrong, you'll be the only one chilling in that chill. Because I will get myself an alibi. Get out. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady. Oh. She said heartless murderer. She said heartless murderer. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady. Whoa. She said heartless hey. murderer. Blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, blood hungry. Quantification, facility, such. Hi. Hi. Um. Here. The proposal for prospective investors is ready. So all we need now is your signature and your set. All right, I'll take a look at it and I'll, I'll sign it. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Derek. Hmm? Why do I feel you're not looking good? You're looking stressed. Like you've not had some good sleep. Mm -hmm. Oh. Um. Yeah. I, I haven't been sleeping lately. Uh, that's true. So I have a little situation. Yeah. Um, a few days ago, a little girl ran into my car. She got hit. Thankfully enough, uh, she's not uh, she's not badly hurt. She's just traumatized. Oh, oh my God. Well, she's some kind of a street child or. A homeless kid. My sister, it's a long story. It's a long story. So, uh, from my findings, um, she's a girl who witnessed her parents being killed. And um, she escaped. She ran away. In the process of running, she ran into me and uh, I hit her with my car. And, uh, she's fine, she's fine, although she's traumatized, but she's in my house right now. <sighs> and, oh my god. I'm totally confused. I, I don't know what to do. What a poor child. Indeed, yeah. She must be going through a whole lot. I said she's traumatized. Of course. It has affected oh. her psychology so bad. Oh my God. But how did your wife take it when you told her? My wife? <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't tell her that. I didn't want to scare her. I couldn't say anything to her. I mean, right now she she doesn't even know. But I'll tell her. I will. I um uh, listen, I have I I intend to go to the police to make an entry. Um they, they need to put out a notice uh, so that any member of her family can reach out to her. I, I, I don't know, just... Derek. 
do you think this your idea is a good one? Because I do not think so. You just said now that she witnessed her parents being killed. Yeah. How, how you go into the police station for? No, you you were exposed that girl to more danger. The people that killed her parents, of course, are after her life. Who come straight to take her? Very easy. Seriously, if you ask me, I do not think that is a good idea. No, please think of something else. You know, not just going to the station. That's not good. Please, my sister. I never thought that it's okay. I. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't think of what you just said, but thank you. It's fine. Thanks for your concern. I really, really appreciate it. Of course. You're my best friend. I'll look at this and I'll sign. Please do. All right. Come out of all those things. No problem. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is my beautiful wife. Her name is Ruth. Say hello to her. Welcome. Thank you. Um, babe. So, uh, it's a long story actually. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you over the phone because I didn't want to panic you in any way. So a few days ago I had a situation, yeah? I, I knocked Favor down. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she ran into me. Um, are you okay? Yeah, ma. Huh? Are you sure? Yeah. How? She, she ran into me trying to run away from the people who killed her parents. What a pity. Poor little girl. Is she okay? Are you, is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Favor, go upstairs and wait for me. Okay. I'll be with you, okay? Bye. Okay. So, yeah. You asked if she's okay. How can she be okay? She's obviously traumatized from seeing the people who killed her parents. Uh, yes, yes, I, I, I feel for her, but I don't understand what she's doing here. Listen to me. Her life is in danger, okay? We need to protect her. That's why I brought her here. Sweetheart, she is not a pet dog for us to keep. She's an actual human being who has relatives looking for her. They just take her to the police station or to the orphanage or something. Not in our house. Listen to me, babe. I can't do that. I, I brought her here for her safety. And listen, if I let that girl go, and something bad happens to her, I am not going to forgive myself. No, no, no. I don't quite agree with that. Come on! No, 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 no. She, she, she has to go. I don't, I don't buy into this. You cannot blackmail me emotionally. She has to go. In fact, maybe, maybe if she leaves, she might get justice for her, for her late parents or something. And, and the criminal is still out there. She poses a big danger to us, not just for herself, but to us as well. Please, let her leave. Babe, listen to me. Sit down. Can you sit down? <sighs> sit down. Sit down. Babe, please, you need to hear me out. I understand how you feel. I know you're upset. It is wrong for me to bring a stranger into our home. But this is a different situation. I'm not going to forgive myself if anything happens to that girl. Please. Babes, please, can you just listen to your wife? 
She is a security threat to us. She has to go, please. Please. How's your trip? You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. <laughs> Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies is talking all around you, I'll be right there to be your superman. Favor, what are you doing in my bedroom? Please, can I sleep here tonight? I'm afraid when I'm alone, the big bad man will come get me. But you're safe, my dear. No one knows you're here. You should go back to your room. You, know, you should be brave. Very brave. Hmm? Please, Daddy. You understand, but I don't know. Let me just sleep beside you tonight. Please. Okay, that's fine. But favor, you need to fight back. Each time the big bad man comes to your dream, you need to fight back. You need to resist him. Don't make him know you're scared of him. Huh? Oh, please. Well, let me just sleep here tonight, please. That's fine. You can come over. But you have to take what I said seriously. Come on, babe, she's only a child. Fable. I'm sorry this is happening to you, but you need to fight back, okay? You need to fight him. Each time he comes to your dream, you need to fight back. You need to resist him. Don't be scared of him, all right? You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. I will keep loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies is talking all around you, I'll be right there to be your superman with everything in me. I'll protect you, hey, my daughter, my. With everything in me, that you got, you are my priority. With everything in me, I swear I will give my love for you. With everything in me, I protect you. I protect you from every hammer. I can tell there's something wrong. You're obviously very pissed off. You want to tell me what the problem is? You said it all, I'm pissed off. Beyond pissed off. Just when I'm trying to accept the fact that she's in the other room, she comes to sleep in between us. Like seriously, in between us. What's she trying to do? She's trying to put us under what God has joined together. Ruth, did you hear yourself? That girl, that little girl is going through a lot. She has no mother. She has no father. She has dangerous people searching for her day and night. She can't go to sleep because the image of beholding her parents being killed has translated into, into a nightmare. What? I expect you to bring her clothes, show her love, protect her. What part of that don't you understand? I understand that she has gone through a lot. I am not a monster not to understand her plight. But we are trying to have a baby here, and she's coming in the way of that. Don't you get it? I completely disagree with you. We've made love severally. It is time for you to allow God to provide us with a child. Why can't you understand that that girl is not ours to keep? 
We cannot protect this girl. Let the law enforcement do their job. Let her go, and I please. Said no. I say no. Listen to me. If you love me, then you need to support me. Because I need your support. I can't do this alone. If you love me, then she stays. Off the work. Auntie wants me to come close to you. Well, that's that's entirely not true. Your auntie likes you, but she's just worried, and she she thinks getting the police involved is for your own safety. I know, but I feel safe here. I understand you feel safe here. Um. The truth is, I have to sign some paperwork. That's the only way we can be your foster parents. Okay? If we don't sign those papers, we can't, we can't be your foster parents. So it's not as easy as you think. We have to follow due process. We have to you know, follow the procedures, sign the paperwork then you can comfortably live here with us. Okay, there's no way you're not sending me away. No, I'm not sending you away. Don't you feel safe staying here with me? Yes, I do. Okay, fine. I have to pass that information across to everyone. I'll tell them that you feel safe staying here with us. Okay? Okay. But then we have to involve the police so that they can apprehend those people who hurt your family. Okay. Do we have an understanding? Yes. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> so don't worry, everything is going to be fine, alright? Okay. Good. Alright, go get something to eat. Good girl. I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. Ruth, I want to apologize for making very, very important decisions without consulting you. I know this about the girl, right? Aside from bringing her to our house, what else did you do? So I visited the social services. I filed for adoption. But my application is incomplete. They need you to consent to it. Huh. They need your signature to make the process very easy. Derek. Why should I give my signature? Why? When I'm against this girl leaving with us. I, 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 why are you doing this to me? Why? Please tell me. Did I do anything wrong? This girl witnessed the death of her mother. She's the only one that can bring down the killers. And... And as long as she's alive, she will always be the target of a hitman. Why are you putting our lives in danger? Why? Please. I, I, I'm sorry, I, but, but I promised her I would take care of her. I promised her I would protect her. And that's what I'm trying to do. I... Look at you. Look at you trying to be the hero again. Hand this girl over to the law enforcement, please. No. Don't, no, you don't need to get involved. My darling, listen to me. 
I, I categorically promised her I would take care of her. I would protect her. Do you expect me to go back and look her in the eyes and tell her I, I can't keep to my promises? I can't do that. Listen, I, I've never asked for anything before. I've never asked for a favor. Just do this for me. If you love me, just do this one favor for me, please. Kindly sign the papers so that the process can be easy. Baby, no. Baby, why it's for her safety. Baby, why are you doing this to me? Why? Why are you doing this to us? Why are you making me look like the bad person here? I, I well, all I'm trying to do is to keep us safe. I, understand. I am trying to keep us safe. I understand that you're trying to keep us safe. But I also need to keep her safe. I give her my word. I told her I would... I won't let anything happen to her. I can't go back to tell her. Babe, please understand me. She's in danger. We need to protect her. Please. And you're in danger too. Can't you reason that as well? We are. I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself. Can you enjoy it? Yes, Uncle. Mm -hmm. Ice cream is really nice. You want some more? Yeah. Maybe next time. Okay. Um, but you have to call me Daddy before I can get you more. Okay, Daddy. Don't worry, I'll get used to it. Fine. Good. Let's go. Yes, it's exactly what you're thinking. She came face to face with the man she sees in her dreams. She freaked out and passed out. I had to put her to sleep and brought her back home. You see, just like I suspected, the killer is still at large. Chasing her. Huh? Should we leave this house? Should we? Should we leave the house? Hell no. It hasn't come to that. How are you so sure the killer did not follow you down to the house? Are we in danger? No, please tell me. He didn't. I mean, I made sure we were not followed. Although he chased us, but he didn't catch up with us. But I'm just worried. I'm worried about Favor's mental health because everything is beginning to affect her psychologically. We need to see a psychologist as soon as possible. I give it to you. You are indeed the father of the year. You're not worried about the danger this girl has brought to our lives. Here you are, worried about her mental health. Come on! You know it's not too late to send this girl down to the orphanage for our safety. This girl is trouble. She is trouble. Ruth, Favor is my daughter. I am her father. She's under my care. She's my responsibility. So I'm going to take care of her. I'm going to protect her. 
That is exactly what I am going to do. And what is your responsibility to your wife? No, go ahead. Tell me. You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. But you know. How did you become so incompetent that I found paying you a waste of resources? Tell me why I shouldn't be killing you right now. I'm so sorry, boss. The good news is that we know she's still alive. I want her dead! Tell me how it is the good news that that girl is still breathing. Are you insane? How could you lose that girl when she was within your reach? How could you? How? A man saw me coming close to them and drove her away. I believe that man must be her guardian. Did you take a picture of that man? No. They drove away when I was approaching close. You are such a disappointment. Of what use is that information to me? I have been having a sleepless night. I have been haunted because that girl still breathes. In her existence, it's a thinking time bomb that will destroy everything that I have worked for and my reputation. I'm sorry, boss. I promise I must find her. I will not stop till I make sure she let to rest in peace. Get out. Listen, if anything goes wrong, I am going to kill you. You without dreams. Get out. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady. Ah! She said, Hatless mother. She said, Hatless mother. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady. She said, Hatless hey. mother. Blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, blood hungry. She said, Heartless woman, yeah. I guess becoming a father can be very exhausting, you know. You look <laughs> exactly like the shadow of yourself. See, not just, not just becoming a father, being a father to a traumatized young girl. Yes. So she came face to face with the guy who killed her parents. And she relapsed into shock. My dear, I have never been this I've never been this worried all my life. I'm terrified. You know, sometimes I just, when I hear you say the things that poor girl is going through, I wish I, I can just exchange them for my peace. Just take all our pains and keep them. Then give her my peace. But that girl is too young to go through all these things. She's quite young. That's why I'm trying my best. That's why I'm trying my best to keep her safe. But my wife isn't having it. She just wants, she wants us to throw her away. She wants us to just send her away. She said, send her back to the agency. How no. do I do that? No, what, what was her reason? Was she scared of being her foster mother? No. So she said <clears throat> that whoever killed her parents can come for us. So she's just concerned about our safety. And I don't know, it's... At some point, I feel like she has a point, right? But 
I don't know what to do. I keep trying to talk to her. Listen, I need to protect this girl. I need to protect this girl. And in return, she just wants me to throw her away so that those dangerous people can kill her. I don't know. Derek, listen. I just feel we should give your wife some time. Why? You know, we, we are different in nature. We react to things differently. Some people cannot really handle pressure, you know, so I, and your wife is scared. Right. I'm afraid for someone who is scared, sometimes she can be irrational. It is understandable. Yeah. So Derek, please, I would advise you to kindly give her some time. I'm sure she will come around. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. I hope she remains in her room and not come here to chase her imaginary big bad man. Point of correction, Ruth. That man is not just in her imagination. He does exist. I can confirm it. I can prove it. Thank God you said you have confirmed it. And yet we are still here. We could die like her parents. Is this girl worth the trouble? No, tell me, is she really worth the trouble? I think she doesn't have to die. In fact, no one is going to die. By the grace of God, we're going to come out of this alive. And if you must know, the search and her would reduce and everything is going to be fine. Now, now, now I get it. I can see you like playing the hero, right? This must be very exciting for you. The thrill of danger that comes with it. The fear and anticipation of what is to come. I'm sure that must really make you feel more alive, right? Huh? Ruth, this is a young girl. We're talking about a young girl's life. We're talking about human life. I am not playing games. She has to leave. I am your wife. I am trying to keep us alive here. That is all I'm trying to do. And I am your husband. It is my duty to protect everyone. And that is what I am trying to do. Favor deserves a good life. And for your information, I'm enrolling her in school tomorrow. No, you won't. You won't dare that. She has to leave. In fact, I'm done. Sleep here, sleep here. Mommy, 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 did I give birth to you? Huh? Who is your mommy? Sorry. Auntie, please, I'm hungry. Can I get some food? Did you think I was going to make you comfortable? Huh? My husband did not tell you the truth. Because he would get us killed in this house. All those bad people following you everywhere. We kill anyone trying to protect you. So, Smalley, hmm? if you truly love your uncle, you will pack your things and leave this house so that you don't get him killed like your parents. That's not true. You could say nothing will happen to us. He's brave and I know he's going to fight for us. Keep deceiving yourself till you get us killed in this house. Small, brave devil. Hmm? Be brave in the face of hunger till you no longer feel at home and you will pack your things and you will leave us in peace. Now, shush, get out. Get out! I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. 
I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just wanna be home again. I'm afraid of the dark. Please do not push me away. What is my offense? Tell me where I went wrong, mommy. How dare you? You leave her hungry all day? And how is it my fault that she went to her room and locked the door? Am I supposed to go to her room and break her room door? Am I? Or do you expect me to pretend that I like her? Do you? I expect you to be human. That's what I expect you to do. Show some compassion. What happened to that caring, compassionate woman I married? And what happened to the supportive and listening man I married? I told you I do not want this girl. Yet you won't listen to me. Or do you expect me to pretend that I like a snake that will end up biting me? Is that what you want? I, I expect you to be nice. I expect you to show some kindness. Listen, you have lost it completely. You have completely lost it and you are going to lose me. And listen to me. No matter what you do to favor, no matter how you treat her, she's not leaving this house. I will lose you because of that, that girl. I will lose you because of that girl. Can you hear yourself talk? Are you sure you're not bewitched or something? That girl is evil. She's evil and she has to leave this house. Maybe you've been bewitched. This is not the man I married. The man I fell in love with. No, it's not you. Who, 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 who? Can you leave me alone? What is wrong with you? What happened? What has gotten into you? You starve a little child all day. From morning till night. No food. Do you want to kill her? What the hell is wrong with you? You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here You can call me your protector I will be your daddy, you will be my daughter I will keep on loving you with no hesitation Between me and you there is no separation Even when the enemies is talking all around you I'll be right there to be your superman With everything in me I'll protect you hey, My daughter, my with everything in me Thank you guys You are my priority Hello boss lady Yes I saw them, I saw them Alright let me Okay let me send you the address no, 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 no. They are not in the race. Alright. Alright, boss lady. Alright. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Oh. She's a heartless murderer. She's a heartless murderer. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. She's a heartless murderer. Blood in her eyes. Boss lady. Hate in her heart. Boss lady. Blood hungry. She's a heartless She's a heartless woman. Boss lady, I, I'm sorry. I we lost them. I tried following them, but my car got deflected. What rate of incompetence is this? I have put multiple resources on this. Finding a little girl. And every day all of you will come back with one failed result or another. How is it difficult to find one little girl? How can one little girl keep a smart man like you? No, tell me. You were supposed to be watching them. Somehow, they get away from where you were watching them, went behind you, and they flooded your tires. Really? Ah! Yes, I'm so sorry, boss lady. I'm sorry. I'll make sure the boss is fire a fault. 
I'm searching for the gentle girl. The good thing is that we know her school. So we can easily find her. You are more daft than I ever thought. What makes you think they will return to that school when they already saw you people there? Because they are not that smart. They can't consider that. He feels the need of giving the girl a normal life. And we can't hesitate to do the needful when we see the girl. Now listen, as long as that little girl breathes, my life is hung on a rope. Get out. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, oh, she said heartless mother, she said heartless mother, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, whoa, she said heartless hey. mother, blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, oh, I'm just hungry, she said heartless woman, wait for me. She said, heartless mother, look at the face of wickedness, someone who has no value for human life, a clear example of wickedness. Did you hear that scream? But we're not finished yet now. We're trying to make a baby. What do you mean? But the existing one is in trouble. Fivo is in trouble. Didn't you hear that loud scream? Please, can we just continue? Stop it. Excuse me. I need to find out what the problem is. Favor, 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 listen, listen. That is here, okay? Nobody's coming to harm you. Listen to me, you just had a dream. The big bad man came to your dream. But that is here. Okay? No one will harm you, okay? That is here. Okay. I'm here to protect you, okay? It's okay, come. Go back to sleep. I'll be here with you. Come. You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here You can call me your protector I will be your daddy You will be my daughter I will keep on loving you with no okay. hesitation okay. hmm? Daddy is here for you, okay? Get some sleep, alright? I'll be your superman with everything in me I will protect you, baby my daughter, my happiness.
Vem! Vem! The dining is set, but there's no food in the flask. Where's my food? What do you take me for? If not a domestic household, to cook and nurse your adopted daughter, who is nothing but a security threat to my home! So Ruth, I am trying to understand where that is coming from. It is obvious that you are upset with me about something. And you feel the best way to air your grievances is to starve my daughter and I? You think you can do as you like and I'm not permitted to do the same? Come on, you left me hanging last night, aroused, unsatisfied, and you went to sleep beside that little girl. And I'm supposed to be all smiles and excited, right? No, tell me! Oh. So Ruth, this whole thing is about sexual satisfaction. Okay. You know what? I'll take care of my daughter and I, I promise you. You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You'll be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies is talking all around you. Derek. Derek, I'm talking to you. You need to listen to me. Derek, I'm talking to you. You think you can travel and leave that girl with me? Somehow, when she attracts danger to us, you'll be out of town. Ruth, I have a building project to supervise out of town. And it's not safe to go there with favor. I made this clear to you. Derek, for months now, I've given you time to decide. If it's me you want, or that little girl. But you continue to put that girl first before us as a couple. <sighs> this is a divorce paper. You have to make the ultimate decision now. <laughs> Ruth. Are you trying to end our marriage for no reason? Derek, I've given you time to decide. Either she leaves or I do. You have to choose wisely. How the hell did we get to this point? Derek, you cost it! You cost it! It's time you decide if you want your family intact or I walk away. I walk away from this adopted danger you have brought to us. Sorry. But I can't let her go. Listen. I can't let her go. She's under my custody. It is for her safety. Don't you understand? I need to protect her. I never thought a day like this would come. Ruth, you're practically asking me to choose between you and a little girl who sees us as parents, a girl who calls you her mother. I am disappointed at you. This is you being unreasonable. This is you being irrational. This is you being selfish. Now listen to me. If you want to leave me, come up with a better reason. 
Don't tell me you're divorcing me because of favor, because that's crap! Derek, Derek, sign the goddamn paper! Sign it right now. Is this what you want? Is this your final decision? Sign it. You want to divorce me because of favor? A little child who came to us for protection. You must be out of your mind. You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here You can call me your protector I will be your daddy You will be my daughter I will keep on loving you Gladys, thank you so much uh, for everything Thank you for watching over Favor in my absence She said Staying around you was a lot of fun <laughs> Of course, it's it's my pleasure. Sincerely, that child is so sweet. Yeah. She's a very calm, calculated child. Yeah, she's very smart. She is smart. Yeah. She is. Yes, um, did you see your wife? Have you guys talked about anything? How are you guys resolving the matter and everything? How? <laughs> What's there to talk about? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. We split. Yeah. It's over between us. We went our separate ways. Yeah. She vehemently asked me to choose between being a father to favor and um, being her husband. In fact, she deliberately presented me with a divorce paper to sign. Yeah. How can how can Ruth make such a rash decision? I can't believe that. Why? She, she she could have just been patient enough to understand your responsibility towards her child. Gladys, you don't get it. It takes a good person. It takes someone who's good at heart to identify my intention or intentions towards that girl. But as much as it is painful that I'd rather be a single dad or I'd rather be single than living the rest of my life with a monster. Listen, enough of her to talk about. Are you sure you're okay? <laughs> if, I, if I say I am, then I'll be lying, but hopefully I'll be okay. Yeah. But you know, if you need anything, if you need anyone to talk to, anything at all, I'm here for you. <laughs> no, of course not. You're my guy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's something important I want to tell you. Really? What? Yeah. My lunch is on you. Tell me, stop. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. What, do want want to, what, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. She said heartless mother. She said heartless mother. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. She said heartless mother. Blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, blood hungry. She said, Heartless woman. This exactly two ways you've been keeping watch in that school. Tell me we have good news. I'm sorry, boss. It seems you no longer register that girl in that school. I thought he's not as stupid as you to have made such a stupid move. 
Jumbo, for two good weeks, you have been wasting time and resources, yet no results. How is it difficult to find a little tiny thing? How? Anyways, any news on the new guardian? Picture? Name? No, boss. Not yet. But we must... Oh, just don't. Don't tell me. Do it. Are you hesitating? Are you killing time so that we could abort this mission? Is that what you're thinking? No, boss. She's not always happening. We are unlucky not seeing that girl. But this time around, I must make sure that I found the whereabouts of that man she lives with. You know what I see when I look at you? Incompetency. Get to work. All you know about is to spend my money. Last lady, last lady, last lady, last lady, oh, she's a heartless mother, she's a heartless mother, last lady, last lady, last lady, oh, she's a heartless hey. mother, blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, last blood hungry, she's a hey. So, this goes to the police station, because of them. We are aware of the investigation. Most importantly, the fact that no witness to the killing has emerged. And this goes to the orphanage comes, not for charity anywhere, for them to keep watch in case if the several girl appears. And this goes to the vigilante leader. He's been on the lookout for favor. Don't open it, it's in doors. Boys, don't you think you are saying too much? I'm about to hire PR to help me find the favor. Since it seems impossible for all of you, now get gold. You move. Mm. Boys. used to tell me that grown-ups don't complain when they are unhappy. So what makes you think I'm unhappy? Because ever since Auntie Ruth left you, you haven't been yourself. And it's because of me. You guys do good together and I came in. Come sit. Favor. Mm -hmm. Do not worry yourself, okay? Everything is under control. I'm an adult and uh, I have to be responsible for my own decisions. Yeah, sometimes I need to sit down. I need to think about my next strategy. I need to reflect on my mistakes so I can learn from them. So it's okay for me to sit down by myself and, and be alone sometimes. Okay? okay? I'm sure Ruth is fine and she's happy where she is. And I'm very happy to be with you here. So you have nothing to worry about. Is that okay? Everything is just fine. Okay. Who gave me a glass of water? Go ahead. You are my priority. 
No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Derek, yeah. I cannot believe this. Like, am I dreaming? <laughs> no, you're not. This is huge. Of course. Something will be running after for like five years, and suddenly we just got it without any kind of stress. In a slide. Listen, I never told you this. You see, of late, I have been experiencing a lot of good. And I suspect favor is my good luck charm. Because ever since I met that girl, <laughs> I affirm yes. Of course. I concur. I concur because this is too good to be true. What? <laughs> what? Okay, fine. It's, it's, uh, I'm, I'm so excited. Ah. I'm excited. I'm overexcited. Yeah, I, I am actually. Meanwhile, yeah. about Favor, how is she doing? Uh, Favor is fine, mm -hmm. but not entirely. Sometimes she feels very sad. She feels she's responsible for Ruth leaving me, and that's very absurd. Yes, it is. But have you tried talking her out of it? You know, because that is too much of a guilt for such a young girl. I know. Gladys, I have tried severally to correct that impression, but it's not working. But I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying. However, thank you so much for asking your sister to take care of Favor. Listen, I appreciate your concern. Thank you so much. It's nothing. Come on, <laughs> you're my friend. It's nothing and... I know everything will be fine. I know. Favor is a very strong girl. Of course. And at the end of the day, everything will be okay. She'll and she has me. a good dad by her side. Hey, listen, enough of that. <laughs> Let's toast mm -hmm. to all we have achieved mm -hmm. and yet to achieve. Mm -hmm. Cheers. <laughs> Determination and bravery grow strong. I have to make sure she dies with this case. Yes. She has to die with this case. Forgive me, Lord, for I have seen and come short of your glory. I'm but a woman, human, who desired to live a life. Yes, 
I have to live my life to the fullest with my desires. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, oh. she said heartless mother, she said heartless mother, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, she said heartless hey. mother, Blood in her eyes, hate in her heart, blood hungry. She said, Heartless woman, yay, yay. She said, Heartless mother, look at the face of wickedness. Someone who has no value for human life. A clear example of wickedness. All she enjoys to take someone's life away. She only cares for her selfish desire. She is self centered. No value for human she life. Oh. She's a monster. Boss, it's unlike you drinking in the morning. What's wrong? Everything is wrong. You and all the men on my payroll are wrong. How can you not find a little girl? How? She saw us mother, her mother. She's a time bomb ticking to shatter my world anytime and you sit there to ask me what is wrong? I'm sorry boss, we are trying our best. Finding that girl is becoming so tough. She's not invisible. She's not a spirit. She's in fall of the earth. Keep, keep her if you must. Go from house to house, from bus stations to bus stations, from airports to airports, from street to street. Go on the ground if you must and bring that girl so that we can end this night there. Kill her. I need to squeeze life out of her. I want her to be breathless. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, you heard correctly. I used to be married, but not anymore. Things didn't work out. Well, I'm sorry about that too. Such is life. It's been ages since I last saw you. The last time I saw you was at the reunion party, right? I know. Listen, I missed you too. I would do anything to turn back the hands of time. So, you have someone you like now? I won't, because I'll be that man to ask you out if uh, you're, you're single. Listen, I don't care. Even if you are a thousand miles away, I'll come find you. I don't mind being with you. So that means we have a lot of catching up to do, so uh, I guess, yeah.
<laughs> what? You know I know my friend. I know you so well. Okay. This, this, you know, there's something about you. I can't please something nice. You, you, you've not been this happy since after Rhodes left. <laughs> so bestie, yeah. spill it. All right, I'll just let the cat out of the bag. Please. I have found love again. Yeah. I am in a relationship. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that is good to hear. I know, right? That is beautiful to know. Okay. So please, oblige me. Who is this woman that's making my friend smile so much? Okay, so how And do when can I meet her? Oh, I didn't tell you. It's a, it's a long distance relationship, actually. So she doesn't live in the country for now. Okay. Do you remember uh, my ex-girlfriend I told you about sometime? The crazy one. Yeah. Yes, I, she was your first love. Yeah. Oh, yes, you told me. So we got connected again and... Um, I mean, she hit me up and... We got connected again and we decided to re... You know, kindle our relationship, our love, so... I... I believe it's it's going to go well this time. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I I hope so. Like I'm, I'll be so happy. That's so nice. Right. Like I'm so happy for you, bestie. I, I I was so surprised. I mean, she just hit me up and. Okay, now fine. What did she say when you told her about favor? Favor. Mhm. Mm I haven't told her about favor, and I don't intend to tell her. Why? I don't want to scare her away. Or do you think I should? You should. Mercy, please. The earlier, the better. You should let her know now. You know, because we don't want the uh, same thing with Ruth to happen again. And to avoid heartbreaks, I would advise you say it now, this early. Mm -hmm. All right, if you say so. I think so. It's okay. It's uh, it's okay. It's okay. So I wanted to show you this. Uh, you are gluing, Sha. Take a look at this. This. <laughs> okay. Go through it and tell me what you think. Oh, okay. Yeah. She says I am glowing. Daddy, what yep. are we doing outside? We're taking a walk. And um. Yeah, I'm taking a walk. Walking is good for you. I know, but I'm afraid the big bad man will see us. <laughs> the big bad man won't come here. Besides, I'm here to protect you. Okay, daddy. How about Auntie Gladys? I miss her so much. Mm, I would like her to be my mommy. Gladys is fine, and uh, I know she's a good woman. I'm not going to say she is not. However, Auntie John is in a better position to be your mommy. I know, but yeah, she is because uh, she's going to be your best friend. So I want you to look forward to that. It's okay, Daddy. As long as you're happy, I'm happy. Of course. Auntie Joan is going to be a very good friend to you. Huh? I pray. Are you happy? I am. You sure? Yeah. You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here You can call me your protector I will be your daddy, you will be my daughter I will keep on loving you with no hesitation Between me and you there is no separation Even when the enemies are talking all around you I'll be right there to be your superman with everything in me Everything in me protect you, cause you are my priority with everything in me. I swear I will keep my love for you with everything in me. Protect you, protect you from every hammer. Yeah, know how we come to you. 
No one can hurt you as long as I'm here You can call me your protector I will be your daddy You will be my daughter I will keep on loving you with no hesitation Between me and you there is no separation Even when the enemies is talking all around you I'll be right there to be your superman With everything in me I'll protect you Everything in me yeah. you guys you are my priority with everything in me I, I swear I will keep my love for you with everything in me I protect you I protect you from every hammer yeah know how we come to Listen, you need to calm down, okay? He won't come here, all right? He can't come here. You're safe here. Oh, how long, Daddy? How long? My heart almost stopped beating when he taught you. You need to listen to me. I dealt with him already, okay? And he can't come here. Stop playing. <laughs> listen, we, we, we can't even pass by him and he wouldn't know it is us. I know you're trying to calm me down, but it's not working. But Daddy's not going to let anything happen to you. Daddy, yes. You need to stop going out. You should never go out again and just stay in this house. Okay, you have a good idea. Okay, but if we don't go out, we're going to die of hunger. There's no food in this house. Don't you think so? Look at me. You're safe. Daddy dealt with him already. He's not going to come here. Okay? Okay? Okay. Good. My priority, no one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy, you'll be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies are stalking all around you, I'll be right there to be your superman with everything in me. I'll protect you, baby. My daughter, my happiness, with everything in me. Boss, I don't think they will return. After knowing that I came close in finding them. Didn't you say they ran away leaving the items they came to purchase? Well, hunger will force them out of the house. Because they will assume that we will assume they will not come here again since you came close to finding them. Relax. They'll come around. Use your head, Jumbo. Use your head. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady. Oh. She said, heartless mother. She said, heartless mother. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady. Whoa. She said, heartless hey. mother. Blood in her eyes, hate in her heart. Blood. Be careful.
Any luck? You must be Joan, Derek's wife. Oh, really? Really? It's me, Derek. It's me, Derek! Listen, if you must know, it is very important to disguise myself now because they're everywhere searching for favor. Oh. Well, if, if I must say you, you really look so beautiful, a beautiful young woman. Oh, really? And favor is so cute, a cute young boy. I, I'm a beautiful young woman. Oh, please. This is very uncomfortable. I had to go through this because I needed to protect her. Yeah, listen, they're everywhere. Including the woman. She believes we're going to die of hunger and hunger is going to chase us out. Of course it did. Yes, but um, she doesn't know that you are, you are very smart. You are two times smarter than her. I trust you. And this disguise is a perfect plan. Wonderful idea. Oh, really? You look good. Did you see my boobs? Let's go inside. Very mm -hmm. welcome. How are your eyes? Uh, thankfully, no permanent damages. Thanks to your benevolence, boss. Don't forget I was benevolent to you because I want you to find me the girl and bring good results. Of course, of what use are you to me without your eyes to find my nightmare? I mean, my worst nightmare. Thank you so much, boss. We came close to the Guardian. Did you take picture? <sighs> my eyes were attacked before I could. I didn't see his face, but he's back. You are just useless. I mean, how could you? How could you? How can you be coming close all the time and still lose them? Do I get someone else to do this job? Need I remind you that if this girl with one word of what she witnessed to the law enforcement, it is game over for us. I'm going to silence this girl in due time. The girl has a strong faith. I believe that's why we are yet to have a successful execution. Boss, please just give me some time. That time is what I don't have. Not only that, if you don't give me good results, I will find you completely useless. Apart from that, I will find your replacement. Officer Linus, how are you? Uh, boss lady, I, I am fine. Based on the fact that you have been so generous and uh, kind to me, I, I should be fine. Hmm. Sounds good. Still no man or any young girl has shown up at the police station to report a crime. There is yet to be any man or any little girl. None of them. I see. 
This simply implies that I am still the prime suspect. Hmm? Boss lady, you are the major suspect. The only good news here right now is that there is yet to be an established evidence to pin you down. Yet it doesn't completely mean that I am free because the feds think I killed that couple. What can I do to spin this around? I mean, can I get someone to confess to the crime and go to jail for it? Uh, that could work. That could work, but the problem here is that you must be able to establish a verifiable evidence to pin that person. If you are not able to, to, to build up a story that will be convincing, then we may not be able to do as you just requested. Oh. That... That will be hard. So, so hard. I only see her as employee. Never thought of any weakness. You have to keep your eyes open. No surprises, please. Just keep your eye open. Trust me, boss lady. But don't forget, if we must walk towards this plan, then the story must be believable. Hello? Hi, baby. Hey, babe, how are you? Good. Were you able to see your dad or your family? No. I told you I don't get along with my mom. So did you tell them about my intention towards you? Um, I'll tell them when I get back. Is there someone I should speak to? That is honestly, I'm not in good terms with my family. No problems. I will let you know when I return. It's okay. You know, I can't wait to get married to you. That's great. I can't wait to have you in my arms. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you when you come.
How are you? Okay. Sit down. Did you sleep well? Yeah. I didn't see the big bad man. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't see him in your sleep. <sighs> and I'm glad you slept well. Are you okay? Yeah. So I just spoke to Auntie Joan and she's ready and excited to be your mom. You don't look happy. You don't look excited. Why? It's just that since your other wife, I think she would dislike me. <laughs> Favor. Um, it is very hard for someone not to like you. You're a very likable person. Do you know that? I know, but not everyone are like you and Auntie Gladys. So my aunt there waiting for a way to kill me. Fever, no one is going to kill you. Okay? You're safe. I know there are bad people out there. And um, you're scared. But that's why you're here. You're safe with me, okay? Okay. And John is going to like you. She's very excited to be your mom. Okay. Good? Yeah. You'll be okay. Yeah? <laughs> what? So... Mm -hmm. How is the son to be grown doing? You want to know? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I'll tell you. So this is my second marriage. But I feel like a little boy who's about to have his first kiss. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that is so sweet to hear. Fair enough. I mean... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I feel good because, I mean, it's important to have someone who's going to take care of Favor and I. Yeah. Wow, that's so sweet. Meanwhile, about Favor, mm -hmm. how is she taking this to your next big decision? She's scared. Yeah, she's a bit worried because she feels... She fears rejection, actually. She feels what happened before is going to happen again. But I'm trying to talk her out of that but she's a little bit indifferent you know she just feels like John is going to be like Ruth but I said no John is a better person and she's probably keeping her fingers crossed yeah you know I sincerely do understand her fears you know it is a fear that natural if you ask me okay but I still think that once she met with Joan and all the love, affection, care, everything comes upon her, my sweet girl will forget about all those things and come out and be happy again. I hope so. Yeah, I know so. She's very, very brilliant. Mm -hmm. She's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. And I like that about her. And she has a smart dad. So that makes it... Well, of course. <laughs> Of course, of course. Okay! So. What? what happened? What's, what's... You've been moody all day. <clears throat> Something wrong? You need to hear the horrible things he said to me. It's... It's worse, worse. I'm so hurtful. But I feel like a knife is cutting through my skin. Your boyfriend? What? What why why what's wrong? Why did he say those things to you? You. Me? 
How? What do you mean me? He said, uh, our friendship is not just ordinary, that I'm cheating on him with you. Oh my God. <clears throat> but how could he say that his assumptions are not true? He, he probably doesn't understand the type of friendship we share. You know what? I'll, I'll speak to him. I'll, I'll try to talk some sense into him and I'm sure everything will be fine. I, I did. I, I tried to explain. I tried to make him understand that we are just friends. But he would not believe me. Uh, I, listen, I, I, I need to, I need to talk to him. I need to intervene. He needs to know that I'm in love with someone else and I'm getting married soon. That way, he'll come back to his senses, I promise you. However, I am, I'm, I'm very sorry. I apologize for every inconvenience I must have caused you. Yeah. It's fine. Okay, you'll be fine. You have a jealous boyfriend. <laughs> So your job in this house is to clean, cook, and be my daughter's nanny. Oga, nanny? That will not be another job, so. You're supposed to pay me two salary. I go clean, sweep, cook. Come back your daughter till she sleep. Become nanny again for this house. My daughter is not six months old, so don't worry about putting her on your back. And if you're not interested in the job, you can just leave, please. Ah, ah, oh, that girl, oh, come down. It's not a joke with you. You base. Hmm? Listen, I don't joke with my daughter. She must be taken care of. Okay. I don't hear all that. I won't start a job like this. I won't start a na na na. I need to work na 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 na. So you said your name is Elijah? Yes, sir. You were highly recommended, do you know that? So that is going to be your duty post. You look to your right. In fact, the person who recommended you said you're very smart. And he said something very... something amazing, actually. He said you can hear the sound of a mosquito when it passes. Is that true? Yes, sir. <laughs> Best way to talk and talk and well. I even they do pass that one. I didn't kill anything way past me. <laughs> yes, sir. That is Elijah. <laughs> but you're not going to kill anyone in this house, will you? Not without instruction. <laughs> and even they back like dog. Even if I back now, even people with that side would you say na big dog. <laughs> they hear. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking about shooting and killing and do you have a gun? I got get the one we pass a move. This one, I need to say from the holy take the time. This one say pass go. Pass shoot that! Hey! But as soon as come on, stop that like great. I'm sorry, that's your duty post, but we can go there. Are you, are you crazy? What's wrong with you? I'm oh, not yes. I just want to make you go see me your last of mine. Is that a very best of life for me? Go to your duty post, my friend. Okay, sir. Elijah, here you come. Hey, you should party here. Hey, please, sir. Hey! Fireman. What is so difficult to find this later girl? Is she invasible? Boss, I've been asking myself the same question. But you should find your peace. 
If that little girl have the thought of exposing us, she would have done that long time ago. Nothing sensible has ever come out from this coconut you call head. How can we let go when the police has refused to close the case? We are looking for an evidence to bring me to that crime. As long as this girl lives, as long as she breathes, she is a race to us and everything we stand for. One more word from her of what she witnessed is game over for us. Boss, we are trying now. Finding her and her guardian is looking impossible. What if they, they have left town? Good thinking. That is why you need to have contact in all the bus stations, the airports, streets, gators, name it. So that whenever the make him over will be their shadow to follow them. Get to work. Get to work! Drop me off. Boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady, oh. she's a heartless murderer, she's a heartless murderer, boss lady, boss lady, boss lady. Boss lady. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>. At last! <laughs> oh my god! Listen, I told you I was going to get married to you. I promised you I would say my vows to you. I promised you, you're going to be the mother of my kids because I love you so much. I love you too. So when do we start? Tonight? Mm-hmm. You sure? Mm -hmm. You sure? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now this is a very touching story. You spoke beautifully well about this girl. To think I was even thinking she was a flesh and blood. No, she's not. You see, Fever. Fever is a special part of me. If she's happy, I'm happy. If she's sad, I'm equally very sad. The truth is, I want to show her the type of love her mother would have shown her if she was alive. That's my plan. Um, Derek, I promise you I will support you. I will show her the love that she deserves in this world. I promise you. In fact, she will be so, so happy and she will forget about the days she has ever cried. Oh. Thank you so much. I know I can count on you. You're such an angel. Thank you. You deserve to be praised. You're a nice person. I mean, bringing a stranger into your house and you're treating her like yours. Thank you so much. Go ahead. Take your drink. Thank you so much. Uh oh. I really love it. Thank you. Okay. You like it, right? Yeah. I'm the hostess. Wow. You are the best auntie in the mm, world. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. Best mommy. Don't address me as auntie. Okay. I am your mommy. And I'm going to love you like my child. Okay? You are the best mommy in the whole world. Very good. <laughs> Thank you so much. You like it? Thanks for making my daddy happy. I'm happy because you make him happy. Okay, now this is the exact way he told me. Thanks for making um, Fever happy. I will love him and I will love you too. Okay? And I promise you I'm going to take care of you as my... If I, you're my daughter right now. You know that, right? Yeah. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. You want to rest? Yeah. Bye. You are my priority. 
No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You'll be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies is talking all around you, I'll be right there to be your Superman with everything in me. Everything in me protect you, guys. You are my priority. Everything in me. I swear, keep my love for you. Everything in me. Protect you. I protect you. Hi. Good afternoon, my darling. Hello. Hi. My name is Gladys, and I'm Derek's best friend. Okay, my name is Joan and I'm his wife. You know that, right? Of course I do. I know everything. <laughs> yes, I want to actually say a big congratulations to you once again. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, um, I brought them some sweet cookies. You know, I usually make it for Derek and Fever. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sorry. Miss Gladys, right? I'm sorry. I don't think we'll be needing that. Um, actually, I know you brought this. You have good intentions here, but that was when there was no woman in the house. But now he has a wife who can cook and bake. But I love eating Auntie Gladys cookies. You will love mine. You haven't tried mine, have you? I'll make some for you. Was, co come on. She's simply saying that you'll make you sweet cookies way better than mine and you enjoy it. So, my love, look forward to it. Okay? Come on, smile. Go give me a hug. Okay. Daddy. Alright. Have a nice day. Yeah. And drive safe, please. Okay, mommy. Would have taken. You will love mine, don't lie. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Honey, no compliments. Compliments. You look good. Just that. I mean, I took my time to put this together. This pant is quite expensive. And I had to put up these colors because I was thinking you were going to say, oh, you're looking colorful, you look nice, and you look good. Just that. But I said, I said you look good. Are you expecting me to compliment you differently? Daddy, how do I look? Hey, mind you, come here. Oh, you look, you look gorgeous. Thank you. You're such a princess, you know that? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Your dress is so nice. Yeah. You know what? I have my eyes on you. And I'm going to shoot anybody who tries to touch you. Who's going to touch me? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm going to break someone's leg if they try to come close to you. How about that? Uh, so, you you know how to use such beautiful words. And you can't use that on your wife, but you can use that on your daughter. But mom, you look like a queen. Thank you. I think you should teach your father how to compliment his wife and not shower all the praises to his daughter. I'll be in the I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just want to be home again. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of the dark Please do not push me away What is my offense? Tell me where I went wrong Mommy What is my offense? I just want to be loved 
Okay, I'll, yeah, I was playing with Fibu and I was like, okay, after this, I'm going to call you in like 10 minutes. I've been calling now. How's Fibu? Is she okay? She's very well. She's fine. Um, can I talk to her? Okay. It's on speaker. Hi, my handsome daddy. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm at work. Have you had something to eat? Yes. I hope you're good. How is work? I'm okay. I'm, I'm at work. I have uh, I have some paperwork to do. Listen, I'll talk to you later. Just tell your mom I'll call back later, okay? Okay. When my daddy say he'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye. Love you. He said what? He said he'll see you soon. At least he should have just called me to tell me that instead of sending you to me. You don't think it's, it's wrong? I'm just saying. I'm coming, let me know. Derek, you're so unbelievable. You called earlier on, you wanted to speak with me. The next thing you said, okay, give my daughter the phone, which I did. After speaking with her, not even, oh, baby, how are you? How are you doing? You ended the call just like that. Yeah, because I, I didn't know we had something to talk about. Oh, you had something to talk about with her? Yeah, I just asked uh, to know if she's, she's okay. And me? What's going on? I'm just concerned because I don't know what's going on. I really, I, I can't tell. Am I intruding or something? Joan, come on now. This is not intentional. It's not deliberate. You, Listen, I apologize, okay? I'm sorry. I love you. We love you. We want you here. And then make me feel loved. Just make me feel like, oh, I'm wanted. Of course you're wanted, man. Stop, stop dragging these things. Just... Daddy, my tummy is pinning me. Your tummy? Come here, come here, come here, babe. <clears throat> what, what happened? What, what did you eat? I don't know. <clears throat> what? Are you serious right now? Like... You're very serious right now. We're not done talking. John, can't you see she's in pain? What is wrong with you? Let's go upstairs. I am on the HI. Who was hit so hard by life? I only want to find myself and live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just wanna be home again. I'm afraid of the dark. Please do not push me away. What is my event? Tell me where I went wrong, mommy. What is my event? I just want to be loved. Hey, babe. Babe, what's wrong now? Come now. Leave me alone. Leave Come me. here. What's wrong? Oh, Derek, leave me alone. Leave me. My love, what's wrong? Everything is wrong. Everything. Every single thing. We couldn't go for our honeymoon because of your work. The only time we will have together, that tiny girl will just come and interrupt us. It's not right. John, I understand how you feel. And I apologize. But I'm faced with the fact that Favo is so attached to me that she can't stay by herself. Okay, then I think you need to teach her what privacy means. Teach her. She, I, I'm, I'm sure she will understand. Are you trying to say I'm doing badly as a father? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I will do better as a mother. That's what I'm saying. She walks in and out of our matrimonial room as if she's in a playground. That is wrong on all level. It is totally wrong. John, I think you are overreacting. 
Yes. If you look at things logically, Favor is a little girl. She doesn't know anything. And because of what she's been through, she feels safe living with us. What part of that don't you understand? What has she been through that other girls in the street have not been through? You only know this one because she's close to us. Yeah. That's the only thing you know. Just teach her to know when to come in and when not to come in. Okay. Quite understood. I promise to work on things. Okay? But you need to relax. I'm sorry. Come close. It's, you it's, promise, it's, you promise. it's not that bad. She's just a small girl. She needs our help. We need to protect her. She's here because she's comfortable with us. What? Dad, can I have another pen? This way I know that I'm not working. All right, my love, I'll just find mm, it. Derek, we just talked about this now. We just talked about this right now. Well, Mom, I just need another pen to draw some. Oh, shut up. Don't talk when I talk. Next time, wait for him in your room. Do you understand? Don't come into my bedroom as if it's a playground. Don't try it again. You're still... Favor, come back here. Don't ever speak to her like that again. She has done nothing wrong to you. She only asked for a pen. I'll get, I'll, I'll bring one to your room, just go. Favor, I am sorry, I'm... I'm very sorry. Sorry for you, sir. I'm sorry, mommy. I didn't mean to make you mad at me. I just thought it would be okay to bring the drawing. It's fine. I am very sorry for shouting at you. I mean, I shouldn't have taken my frustrations out on you. Hmm? Were you really mad at me? Oh, not really, but... I was having some me time with your dad and then you came in. Can you do me a favor? Whenever you see me and your dad, please, just give us some time. Hmm? You can do that for me. Yes, mommy. I promise not to disturb you and daddy again. Okay. We're a very smart girl. Tomorrow, uh, what you? We're going to tell the maid to give you some ice cream. Tell her any flavor you want, and she's going to buy it. Thank you so much, mommy. I am only a child. You promise me to be so hard by life. I only want to find myself. And live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just wanna be home again. So, how is it nearly worth doing? Hi. What is wrong? This face is not the face of a man who just got married. Uh, this face is not um. It's not um, so nice. This is not the honeymoon face I wanted to see. What is it, Justin? I'm a little bit stressed out. And I fear this is not going to work. I also fear that what happened with Ruth might happen again. And this time it might be my fault because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. You're, you're getting me confused. Can you start from the top to explain to me? Because I, I can't understand what your fear is. What is your fear exactly? So Joan thinks I pay more attention to Fable than I do to her. And then... It's, it's really crazy. A few nights ago, Favor, 
interrupted one of our intimate moments. And John snapped at her. She cried her eyes out, felt heartbroken. Uh, although John apologized, but I feel it, it didn't come from her heart. And I'm, I don't know, I'm just afraid it might happen again, you know. <clears throat> Derek, you are my best friend. And I will say nothing but the truth to you. Right. Joanne has her own expectations. Okay? She has never been married before. She is so new to this mommy kind of life. Right. Okay? Right. And aside from the fact that she's nice and accepted favor, does not mean that she doesn't have her own fear. Like, she doesn't wish or want to have you to herself alone. It is not wrong. Okay? So, I... If you ask me, I just feel you should try and strike a balance between your wife and favor. You should give your wife her time and give favor her time so there won't be any kind of issues. Right. That's the best thing to do. That's, that's a brilliant idea. I mean, I'm going to talk to favor. I'll talk to her about giving us some privacy. You should. At least cheer up. Thank you. So, yeah. what's that? Uh, go through it and then. And Elijah get the first. Vero? So you don't say you're supposed to need Dan give me food. You don't know? Mm -hmm. Abi, they don't train you for your village. Your village people don't train you say if you want to serve a person like me food, you say you go need Dan serve me food. Oh. So eh? I suppose clam ladder now. Can't give you food. You the hungry, Abi, you know the hungry. You they ask me, make I tell you, woman where they cook for my house, go need Dan serve me food. Put on small respect. Make her like. Make him say I go eat the food now. Eh? See, make her tell you. All oh, this is what you do. Why you say uh, even uh, those fine fine plates, those where they shine, where well, they use chop. Why you know they use and me food? <laughs> why you know they use and I be now because I small. You know, you know, you know, get respect again for me. Elijah, you know say so you know get respect. You know say so it's not your body at all. Eh? So now because say I can't give you food for here now. Anytime why I call you, where you don't show your face, me no go show. So you won't make us have you. Make her worship you. Make her feed you. It's because of the land, Abi. Eh, uh, okay. You won't use food now intimidate me for this house. No, you won't use food. See, if you don't need that properly and serve me this food, Vero, I will not eat. Forget it. Take it and go. Eh? Yes. Okay. No, Wahala. No, I'm going to go. Get you there. See this food, so I'm going to eat her. Uh, eh? No, eat them now. No, Wahala. Eh? Go, 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 go. What's that? Cover that. Come, come and cover that food. Mm. Cover that food. I go strangle. Mm. I go strong cover the food. Mm. Cover them. You don't cover them. You don't cover them. Do you say you don't want them? Eh? You want you to do it. You try me for this house. Eh? You try me. If I catch you next time, you go no. See, eh? see, see, see. That's the day. First way they bundle from village come for this house. Don't worry. I will teach you less way you know go forget. Are you avoiding me? Yes. Obviously. Derek, why did you get married to me? I mean, obviously you got married to me just because of that little child. 
What does that mean? Favor needs a mommy figure. And you want the award for the best daddy. Boom! You got a teddy bear to take care of her. And here I am. <laughs> you literally just compared yourself to a teddy bear. Do you mind telling me what you have going on in your head? Eric, the attention... Okay, it's not like I'm jealous. But the attention you give to this little girl is too much. If I have to complain about this as your wife, then it means there is a problem. John, I have promised you severally that I'm trying to strike a balance. But you need to give me some time. I understand. I'm aware that my relationship with Favor gets you really, really angry and makes you feel sidelined. However, please, take it easy. I, I promise to make amends. I, I promise to work on it. You don't have to get mad every time. Okay, fine. By the time you change, then you can now touch me. Okay, then. Just like that, no attempt again. You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies are stalking all around you. Princess. Which one? Why is your room dirty? You can't make beds. Oh, sorry, it was the house up. She was supposed to clean it earlier, but she was busy with the kitchen stuff. What happened to your hands? What happened to your hands? You can't make the bed. Nothing. Just that dad told me not to worry myself. She was paid for it. She was paid for it. And all you do in this house is to eat. You cannot touch dirty things. She was paid for it. Oh, I forgot now. Your daddy's princess. So the princess cannot touch dirty things. If I slap your face, it will affect your father in the office. Take your father and go! Clean oh, that thing. Oh, oh, true. Sorry, sir. No pay. Go clean her. Eh? Make a rush. Hey, hey, come here. Come here. Eh? Give it to me. Madam. Okay. Grab that thing. Okay. Now go and fight for you now. I'm afraid of the dark Please do not push me away What is my offense? What is wrong with me? Tell me where I went wrong Mommy, what is my offense? I just want to be loved oh. What is my offense? Tell me where I'm wrong go oh. And tell me what to do to make you take me as your own. Favor. Favor. <laughs> Lady, welcome. Why are you not sleeping on your bed? Why are you, why are you here? Because I have to tidy the room before mom comes back from work. Why do I sleep off? You have to tidy the room before mom comes back. What about the house help? It's her job. You know what? Come, follow me. Did you ask Favor to clean? No, her room was just untidy, so I said, Favor, come. I actually was helping her at some point, so I told her to continue that. Why did you do that? What do I pay the help for? I didn't ask her to clean. I just, I just, I, I, I'll just tell your daddy now. I, I was helping you, right? That should never repeat itself in this house again. We have a house help. And she gets paid to do the house chores. I'm sorry, it could never happen again. 
Babe, Good. I just wanted her to do the basic things as a woman. Oh. I went to see my mom. Oh, okay. Uh, so, how did it go? Um, were you able to reunite with your mother, your family, everyone? Yeah, I did. Okay. We laughed, we cried together. Now I know she's the only family I have left. Oh. I've missed my mother so much. So, so much. Listen, I'm excited you were able to see your mother, your family and uh, you were able to reunite with them. So I'm excited. Happy. Yeah. She wants to meet with you. She does? Oh, that's good. I'd like to meet her too. I mean, it's okay. We can invite her to come over. I mean, let's get to know ourselves better. You serious? Yes, that's good. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Listen, I made something in the kitchen. You want to go check it out? I don't understand. I did. You made it? Yes. You? I made it. Okay. I just have a little work to do, yeah? Oh, uh, okay. All right. I'm hungry. You know, Sina, you are the first to come give food. But Madame saying that she day in charge today. No, she does not eat anything since morning. You know, feel like saying that because of you, Madame says she day in charge today. Eh? I know say before you go don't come here. Onga go don't mama you well well. Do? Babe, feel like say this is your new mommy no like you. That. Just that she's not used to me. She likes me. Yeah. That one's very sharp. Ah. She said that she's there in charge. I don't know why she they use your belly play. So you'll go up, go meet her. Hmm? Eh? So? I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself. And live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just wanna be home again. I'm afraid of the dark. Please do not push me away. What is my fate? So can someone tell me why Favo hasn't eaten all day? Favo hasn't eaten. How? So she said someone in this house asked her to fast and pray. That eating too much would make her senseless. What nonsense is that? Did she mention the name of the person? She said someone in this house. Then who? Will you stab my princess? What is wrong with you? The only job you have in this house is to cook and feed her. All you do is to eat the food and increase your bum bum. Oh, madam, you so shut up! That's that's enough. You don't talk when I talk. Listen to me. If you're tired of this job, I will fire you. Oh. Babe, that's okay. That's all right. Uh -uh. And you, quickly make something for her to eat as soon as possible. You can't starve her. She's a young girl. Go. <laughs> Why? That's enough. That's okay. I'm just trying to, like, why?
I just want to say thank you. You were very smart yesterday not to tell your father that I was the one that told you to starve. So why didn't you tell him? I know he's going to get angry at you. I don't want to be the reason why. Oh, you knew? You are very smart. So to express my gratitude, I made this food for you. So you can eat and eat very well. Oh yeah, try it now. But the food is too many. It's too many as in what? You can't finish it. You are very ungrateful. Yesterday you told him that I did not give you food, you were starving. Now I took my time, prepared this food for you. You are telling me now that it's too much. Sit down there. If I, see, if, if I flop you, eh, it will affect your father in the office. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I said sit down where? Oh yeah? Sorry. I can't finish it. So what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? The food is too much. Finish this food now. Get it! Oh yeah, start it. Eat. Very good. Continue. Open your mouth. Open your mouth when you're eating. Continue. Give me this way. You don't take it. Use your hand. Use your hand. I eat this food. Ah, ah. Oh yeah. Put it inside. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. I'm eating. Mommy, come on. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. You must finish it already. Finish it already. If you see, what is this one? I'm hungry again. You'll be angry. 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 you will be angry you I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just wanna be home again. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of the dark. Please do not push me away. What is my offense? What is my offense? Tell me where I went wrong, mommy. What is my offense? What is my offense? I just want to be loved. Oh. What is my offense? Tell me where I'm wrong, oh, and tell me what to do to make you take me as your own. Come here, come here. Why is it like this? Why is it like this? Because I cannot believe that a big girl like you will sleep and not make the bed. Why is it like this? And why is the frame on the floor? You need everything. So I'm lying. No. Am I lying? No, come here. No. Am I lying? No, no. You're calling me a liar. No, I'm not calling you. Stop making the bed. Start. Stop making the bed now. Start. Start. Stop making the bed. Stop. Stupid thing. He's very fast with it. Eh? Where is it located? I don't know, mommy. I don't. He's not me. Mommy, he's not me. You wanted to steal it. No, I don't want to steal it. I don't want to steal it. I don't want to steal it. You never kill me. She's running the temperature. And did I tell you I found her under the stairs? I won't be surprised. Babe, Favor has been doing some strange things these days. I can't figure this out. She locked herself in the bathroom. 
Or is she trying to kill herself? I'm trying to figure things out. She's truly been acting strange. And I don't understand. I really don't understand. She's just a child. Running. She's running a temperature. She's always feeling sick. What could be the problem? Maybe she's a child. She's still growing up. Let's just, uh, at least, thank God we found her. That's the most important thing right now. Listen, I know I'm not her real father. But I have been able to create this relationship between us. That way, she tells me anything. But I'm very surprised she's been acting very strange. When you look at her, it looks like she has so much to say, but ends up saying nothing. You're just being worried for nothing. She's just a child. She's just a child. Come on. Okay. Let's put an eye on her. I'm just glad that she was, you know, able to get medical attention. However, we'll just keep watching her. Okay. I'll be with her for like 30 minutes and we'll put her to sleep. All right. I saw the way you addressed the board meeting. And I can say for sure that you are not concentrated. Bestie, what is wrong? I'm just worried about favor. I mean she she has so much to say, but ends up not saying anything. Is someone bullying her? Yes, because if she has a lot to say and ends up not saying anything, and then someone is bullying her. <laughs> bully, bully. Who would possibly bully her? She's always with John. I, I don't think so. I'm not sure. I tell me, you know something? Yeah. I, I, I feel so. I don't know. But I just feel you should bring favor closer to you. 
make her feel, make her know she can trust you with the whole truth. Right. Yes. I'm sure you'll find us something. Brilliant. I'll, I'll do that. I'll try to bring her closer. Uh, make her trust me. And, uh, I'm just afraid what the truth might be. You know? Are you scared that your imaginary perfect family might not work this time? <sighs> Don't you think that you, you, can, you should allow this, your illusion of having this perfect family just fade away and then face the reality? Listen, you're right. I'll um, I'll do my homework. I'll bring her close. I'll ensure she trusts me. And listen, and if I find out the maid is behind this, I won't hesitate to send her out. I see how it goes. Saturday, or your company do not observe weekends? Of course, we do observe weekends, and I'm not here for work. I came here to take favor out of the trees. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm so glad to see I know, right? <laughs> Can you please excuse us, please? Okay, mommy. I'm coming. Okay, mommy. What are you trying to do? You think I can't give my daughter a treat? No, not at all. <laughs> I, I mean no harm. I just came here to take the poor girl out and make her very And happy. you think I make her sad? What is wrong with you, Gladys? You think I don't know what you're trying to do? Oh, you have now come boldly into my home. You have left your office, oh. You have graduated now into my matrimonial home. I'm confused. I am confused as well. <laughs> Into your home to do what? Like I don't know your plans. Your eyes is on my husband. No. Of course not. You, you're mistaken. You, you, you are getting it all wrong, darling. I'm getting it all I wrong. I do not have anything to do with your husband. I don't have... Why? I can't. No. You can. Yes, you can, because this is exactly what you're doing. Or oh, you're now in my house to take my daughter out so that my husband will say, Oh, Gladys is a nice woman, and you make me the bad person. I don't ever want to see your filthy head in my house again. Use the door. Are you, by any means, asking me out of your house? My house, right? So, in my house, I choose who stays and who remains. And at this point, use the door. Now.
did you not allow Auntie Gladys to take me out yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see you. You are now the mommy of the house. You can now interrogate me now. No. So where is this coming from? It's just that she's nice if you get to know her. She's nice if I get to know her. Hey! See me! Oh, so because Derek treats you like a princess, you think you're one? No wish. Did you hear me? The same way you killed your parents, it's the same way you want to cause problem in my home. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, why are you saying all this bad to me? Don't, don't make any to me. The same way you hurt me when you report me to Derek and he goes back to his office to report me to that stupid friend. You want to cause problem in my home the way you cause problem in your family house? Is that what you want to do here? No? The same way you made your father drive Ruth away. Hold your ear. Hold it. Hold it very well. Hold it. Hold it very well. Hold it very well. If you try this rubbish again in your life, if you try it again, I will kill you that day. I'm still talking. I say you. you I'm talking your mommy. Shift this thing this way. So it don't fall. Shift it. So it doesn't break. want to be loved i want no trouble just want to be home again mm -hmm. i'm afraid of the dark please do not push me away what is my offense tell me where I like the food yes, daddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i see what i'm saying look at that Fever. Something happened to your head and you decided not to talk about it? Uh, hmm. I forgot to tell you last night. She was still walking. And she just hit her head on the wall. And I keep telling you. I keep telling you. Anytime you feel like sleeping, just go straight to your room and sleep. Instead of, you know, sleeping there and then you walk to the room. No nice now. No, look at you. See? Favor. I'm really sorry about the injury, but you need to be careful, okay? How do you feel now? I'm still feeling pain. I'm having a headache. Headache? Ah. Honey, let me call the maid. Or better still, I'll take you to the hospital when we finish eating. What do you think? Babe, I, I can see how much you care about her. Ah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Alright? It's okay. I mean, she's my daughter. I can't let her go through this now. Favor, please, you need to be careful. Anytime you feel sleepy, go to your room and sleep. Go to the room and sleep. Okay? Okay, daddy. You heard what the daddy said? Always listen attentively. Go to the room and sleep. All right, that's enough. That's okay. enough. Eat your food. Oh, you want me to feed you? No, thank you. Ah. Ah. really bad. It's okay. Favor. It's your food, right? I love you. I love you too. You know what you like, no? You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You'll be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies are stalking all around you, I'll be right there to be your superman with everything in me.
Are you going somewhere? Huh? I'm going far away from this house. I don't want to live between your mommy again. What happened? Your wife hates me. She beats me every time you go out. See my head. She made me sick. Favor. Sometimes I try to understand you. Your mother was equally very, very surprised about the injury on your forehead. So why are you saying she's responsible for it? Because she's a good actor and pretender too. She made me sick and she also say hurtful words. Come here. Favor, I clearly understand sometimes you get angry for reasons best known to you. And sometimes I know you want my attention, but I can't because daddy needs to go to work. Daddy needs to make money for us to eat. However, I also know that it is difficult for you to connect with everyone in this house because you're only used to me. I know sometimes you're trying to adjust, but it is not easy. You have to keep trying. Huh? The fact that you're not able to connect with every other person apart from myself doesn't mean you should talk down on your mother. She cares about you. She loves you. I know it's hard to make them your friend, just like me. But you need to keep trying. Give it some time. And I promise you everything is going to be okay. All right? Thank you, Daddy. They're not bad people. Your mom is not a bad person. Don't, don't paint a bad picture about her. Okay? It, it's hard to connect with her, just like you have connected with me. But. It's okay, just give it some time. Everything is going to be okay. Alright? Thank you. Alright. Unpack your things and put them where they should be. I'll come back and see you, okay? Derek, I want us to have a baby. Oh, that's that's great. I would love that. I mean, Favor will be happy to have younger ones. And they'll be happy to have Favor as their older sister, you know? Derek, I am not talking about another human at all. I'm talking about my own child. Of course I understood you. Why are you getting angry about that? Am I getting angry? Okay. I just don't want a situation where you will push what I'm talking about right now as if it's not important to the side. I think we should send Favour to the boarding school. She needs to give us our space. I disagree with you. Favour is a young girl. She's not old enough to stay away from me. I need her to be close to me so I can watch over her, I can protect her. I can teach her the right things as her father. At what point will you leave her again? At what point will she live her own life? At what point? Okay, you want to be following her around, that's what you want. I'm only trying to protect you, protect us, protect our marriage. No. Bebo stays here for her own safety. She stays with me. So unbelievable. Why am I even talking to you? Excuse me. You can have a room to yourself. I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again.
Oh, I'm I'm so so sorry. Sorry. Oh, yeah, well, there's nothing fragile in there. No. Um, this place. I. I know you somewhere, but I can't place it. I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I don't know you, man. Um. This face, the resemblance is uncanny. I know you from somewhere, Josa. I can't place it. My name is... It's possible you know me, ma'am, but I don't think I know you. I don't think I've ever met you. Excuse me, please. I'm in a hurry. Thank you. I'm the voice. I think I'm seeing her somewhere. That eyeball. Let's go. House lady, house lady, house lady, house lady. Oh, she's a heartless mother. She's a heartless mother. House lady, house lady, house lady. Oh, she's a heartless hey. mother. Tell me we have good news. I'm sorry, boss. It's just like she fell off the surface of the earth. However, she didn't. Even the PI you met couldn't find anything. <sighs> this little girl is not a ghost. She leaves and she's being taken care of by someone. Find him and we'll find her. Tell the PI that I need to see him one more time. He said he has done all that needs to be done. He only has the picture of the little girl. And there are many children out there. Don't be stupid and don't be too forward, my friend. I can't be spending money for nothing. Tell him I have a new assignment for him. The dead couple. I need him to dig on them. I need to find out who were their enemies. Who they would have hurt or ruined their lives. I need the names and locations of such people. Boss, how can you find their enemies when they are dead? Does your head function well? Does it? Are you forgetting I'm a prime suspect in this case? Apart from that, I need to move the police to look in another direction and follow up new suspects. Wake up! No one lives without an enemy. We need to establish a motive and create a plan to plant the mother weapon in their hands. Then the police will arrest them for the crime. I will concentrate on finding this little brat who can testify otherwise and breathe again. My honorable boss lady. You must be a genius. Hmm. The plan works. It's a good one. You are supposed to have a brain, not a coconut. Empty coconut without water. Use it. Find your brain. Use it. Get out and walk. House lady, house lady, house lady, house lady. Oh, she's a heartless mother. She's a heartless mother. House lady, house lady, house lady. Oh, she's a heartless hey. mother. I didn't say that. I don't go one day. I don't go one Why they look me now? I don't understand. Me they looking. Uh -huh. they look me. No, no, no. Me they looking. Who 
Who they look you, Vero? Make you tell yourself the truth. Who they look you? For face, you know fine. You know say you know fine. For the rest where you carry yourself, I don't know what I want call This one, they say now, but I beat and I run for you. Vero? Who they look you? Yeah? Make I tell you, if they never tell you, there is no difference between you and hippopotamus. <laughs> You know, if you see me now, Elisha. No, but you get me. Now, who get me? If you see all my beauty. <laughs> How I want to get you now. Mountain. Who want to get you? How I want to get you? Who want to push you? See, forget all those things where they do like they eat the crocro. Cro this I don't know. I know. It is I go for. I don't go for. If they come for my dream, they romance me <laughs> spiritually. You know, if you get to me, I cast and buy like this. You know, cast and buy, you know, cast and buy. You know, get to me. Okay, you don't put up a physical. Eh? Now, dear self, you feel you okay. Eh, Dago? Vero? Eh, Dago? Much and much, I said, I'm not for granted. I don't know what they say. You say, you see, that's the way they smoke. That's the way they hide. They smoke. Now, they disturb you. They play. They play, they go. Eh? Now, that conji. Kill you spiritually and physically. He's gonna kill you soon. See, Mumu, wait to now. Conjure it of me, Elijah. Now, first, now, me secretly tell you, say, Conjure go away, Elijah. You agree. How can you want to hold me? Where you they shake that? They pass, make I fall. I don't go fall now. I don't go fall. I don't see if I do you now. One touch now, you don't fall yet. I cut up my bed. But I don't see a person like you said, no, go near my bed because you don't get the qualification why they. Which gate? Which gate? Calm down. Which gate? If I say make I give you all this, you know, you be take it. You be take this. You be take this. You like this. You don't go. Wait. Come on. Go open gate. Open gate for me. Make I open gate. Yes. Come open the gate. Ah. Okay. The queen superpower now. Oh yes, yes, yes. Oh yes, yes, yes. Vero? Okay. There's no problem. This one now your turn, eh? But you see this dream. <laughs> My dream comes true. <laughs> hey! Okay. Here, put it. Hey, what's up? I'm fine. You good? Yeah. Are you okay? You don't look happy. Mm. Does we long we play the game together? Oh, games. Yeah. So tell me, what type of game do you want to play? Hide and seek. Hide and seek. Sounds like fun. Yeah. So who's going to get blindfolded? You or me? You. Me. All right, go ahead. Let's go. Don't blind me, though. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. What do you mean? Are you serious right now? What do you mean? Hide and seek. It's called what? Seek. Hide and seek. Very. Yeah. <laughs> you walk all through the week. The little time you have to spend with me, you want to play hide and seek with her. How? Come on, baby, you're just a child. Come on, it's just, it's just a game. It's nothing. It's just a game. Yeah. Yeah, and you can actually join her. Will you shut up your mouth if I slap you? Don't ever in your life. Did you hear me? Don't do it again. If I talk, don't talk. Don't ever interrupt me. Do you understand? Don't try it. You are home because of security complications. You can't even go to school. And all you can think about in the world is how to play hide and seek. I'm finished with my homework. Okay. For the homeschooling. And I'm also done with my online classes. Done with your what? Classes. Online classes. Very I don't understand. Online classes. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I didn't tell you. I actually forgot. There's actually um, an online class for um, people like her, um, children of this age. Um, it's, uh, it's, I, I just, you know, enrolled her so she can get prepared for, uh, so that they can Very. prepare her before school starts. Yeah. And you didn't tell me? I just apologized. I didn't, okay. I forgot. I didn't okay. remember. I thought we were supposed to be her parents. Yeah. She calls you dad and she calls me mom. But both of you have your, I don't know, you have an agreement to register for an online class without telling me. Babe, this is no, 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 don't, Derek, don't Derek, Derek, get this Derek, 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 whole thing twisted. Derek, it's not what you think. Derek, it's not what I think, but hold on. Now I see, I, 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 I am your nanny, right? All you do is leave her for me to take care of her while you are out there. And then when you come back, you play hide and seek. Listen to me. This is no, not. No, it's, it's, it's okay. Can you just no, listen no, no, to no. me? It's, it's okay. It's okay. I don't think <clears throat> mom likes me. Come here. Sit. Hey, mom. Look at me. Mom likes you. I can assure you she does. She's just having a bad day, that's all. Okay? Hey. Alright? Mm -hmm. So go to your room. I'll come play with you shortly. Alright? Good girl. Okay. Okay. You are my priority. No one Babe. can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call Babe. me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies are stalking all around you, I'll be right there to be your Superman with everything in me. I'll protect you. My daughter, my happiness, we shall have it in me. Oh, yes, I. I did. I did. It, I, you see, little girls like. They like gifts. It makes them happy. And I always want to make her happy. Can't you see the smile on her face? <laughs> okay, I'm not against the idea of shopping for her, but I think I, think I am humble. And I have female eyes at least. I should be the best person to get her Oh, sorry. I didn't tell you. I had Gladys with me. She did most of the shopping herself. Yeah. Isn't... Uh, aren't they pretty? Derek, why did you marry me? What kind of question is that? Of course I married you because I love you. Love is not enough, Derek. Okay, Derek was single at some point and... Gladys was single at some point and you were single at some point. Why didn't you marry her since she knows so much about this family? Gladys and I, we've been friends for a while. In fact, I've shared this brotherly, sisterly love with her. Okay? I've never had an ulterior motive towards her. And I'm sure she's not that type of a person. Then let her remain on that path. Now she's meddling into my affairs as a wife. I'm begging you in the name of God. Want that your Gladys girl to get off my back. Else the next time she meddles into my affairs, you will get another wife. Excuse me. Why did you bring me here? We could have talked inside. Because what I want to tell you is very, very private. And I do not want my husband to know anything about this. Okay. I'm okay, yes. Quit your job. 
What? <laughs> okay, so what's funny? What's funny? You're not here because of this job. Gladys, you're here because of my husband. You want to see him every single day. Gladys. So you just save the story of I love my job because I know that's what I'll be expecting from your mouth. In as much as I have this huge respect for Derek and his family, I would not take one more insult from you. Your husband, Derek, is my best friend. Mm. And there is nothing more to it. Your insecurities have blinded you so much that you come here and make outrageous and stupid irrational demands. Oh, don't you speak to me in that manner. I will speak to you in the manner you speak to me. Why am I even surprised? You are insecure about his daughter. Who am I not to shake your heart? Listen very carefully, lady. If you come here again and make such stupid demands of me, I would not be civil. Excuse me. No, 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 not so fast, lady. Not so fast. Do not let my husband know about it. And please, think about it. There is nothing to think about. On my couch. Mm. Your legs on my couch. Sorry, I'm moving. I'm not feeling fine. I'm having a headache, and I don't know. My body's changing. So what do you want me to do? Your meds are dying. What do you want me to do? Do I look like a doctor to you? No, it's just that I want you to call Daddy so that he can. Come or if you don't want, you can tell me I will call him. You will do no such thing. If I slap your mouth now, you see this, you see the sickness, it will fly. You're a wicked person. In the house, you will take his attention. At the office, you won't take his attention. Even in your sick state, you still want to take his attention. Get off from that place. Get off from that place. Get off. Get off from that place. Get off. Eh? If, you, if you try, if you for me, if I slap, eh? if you try, if I slap, if I, if you. Tell me why her situation is getting worse. The doctor told me in confidence that if I hadn't brought her to the hospital, she would have died. Honey, honestly, I am not a magician to know when Kibo is ill or not. She doesn't talk. She's not expressive. I mean, if something is wrong with you. Talk. You. You asked my daughter to clean the house. What do I pay you for? What the hell do I pay you for? Listen, I'll get you arrested for trying to kill my daughter. Oda, please, oh, please, eh, 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 I swear, not people feel like that now. Now, madam, madam, now you force her to clean her vomit. She will fight her, Kata. Ah, I hope you do people wickedness now. People are my friend. Eh, Vero? Eh? We're just playing cards in the sitting room. The next thing she started throwing up. I thought she was joking. This is the third time she had done that with me before. She would throw up, she would say, ah, mommy, I'm joking. I was actually thinking that was what she was doing. How would I know she was really ill? Now I clearly understand what is going on. I see why Favor has been trying to talk to me indirectly. But I didn't understand. I thought she was either being clingy or she wanted attention. 
But I didn't know this girl has been bottling so much. She's been pretending to be happy, putting smiles on her face while she's dying inside. She's not dying. This is my daughter we are talking about here. I, I, baby, you know I love this girl so much. I mean, how will I do this to my daughter? I didn't know why. Joel! And live happy again. I just want to be loved. I want no trouble. Just wanna be home again. I'm afraid of the dark. Please do not push me away. What is my offense? Tell me where I went wrong, mommy. What is my offense? I just want to be loved, oh. What is my offense? Tell me where I'm wrong, go. Oh. Derek, how long will you continue to give me the silent treatment? How long? You won't touch me. You won't speak with me. When is this going to stop exactly? At what point? I have nothing to say to you, and I wish to be alone, please. Derek, you're not going to say this. I am not going to accept it. You can't keep giving me the silent treatment. Okay, fine, you can hit me, do whatever you want to do, but this will not happen. I have apologized. I am sorry. Derek, I have never told you I was perfect. I am sorry I erred. You see the silent treatment? It's not going to work. Please. I trusted you. I trusted you with her. Let me tell you something. Ruth left because she couldn't handle it. She left because she didn't want to be called a monster. Okay, now at this point you're comparing me to Ruth. How? I accepted this child. I loved her like my own. Ruth rejected her and she refused to take care of her. Derek, I love you, and you know that. How can I coexist with a child I do not know if... Derek, I am sorry. Comparing me to Ruth? No, that's a no-no. If you love me like you claim, then you should love her. Show her the same love. That girl is my life. If I'm happy, she's happy. If she's sad, I am sad. What part of that don't you understand? Derek, it's obvious she's about to break another marriage. Because that is exactly what's going to happen right now. And I know in her mind she would not want this to happen. Think about it. Excuse me. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here You can call me your protector I will be your daddy, you will be my daughter I will keep on loving you with no hesitation Between me and you there is no separation Even when the enemies is talking all around you I'll be right there to be your superman with everything in me Everything in me yeah. you are my priority with everything in me. Yeah. People, you need to eat your food. I'm not hungry. Don't say that to me. I'll feed you. Listen, I apologize for everything. I, I remember you tried to speak to me, you tried so 
hard to talk to me, but I wasn't paying attention. It's okay, okay Daddy. He is not a bad person. I don't want to be the one to cause confusion for the both of you. I never said she's a bad person, but it is important to always tell me everything, okay? Don't hide anything from me. Remember when you're happy, daddy's happy. When you're sad, daddy's sad too. I'm sorry, daddy. You know you must have been worried. Right? Of course, I was worried. I was really, really worried. But it's okay. Everything is fine. Eat your food. Go ahead, eat. Good. Thank you, Daddy. That's all right. Joker, who is a really nice person? She feel bad. That is why. It's okay. I, people, I know you are a good girl. Okay, and you have a beautiful heart. And I love you so much. Okay? I love you too, Daddy. You're welcome, my daughter. Listen, you need to eat your food. You know why? Because you have to get better. Eat your food and take your medication. If you don't take your medication, you're going to be sick. Okay? Take some water. Hey babe. Hi Joan. Why are you riding in her car? Babe, is that a problem? Answer the damn question. Why are you riding in her car? Okay, babe, so uh my car got bad. Um I left it at the office and drove with her. And thanks for not asking though. Light upon light. Oh, you deliberately left your car in the office, so when I drive by, I will see your car there. Meanwhile, you're frolicking with her. Come on, babe. Listen. You see, all of this conspiracy theory you come up with is not gonna help either of us. Alright? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you you felt happy? I should ask you. Ask the first. That's why you're riding with her. That's why you're riding with her! That's all you can say, right? That's all you can say. I'm not talking with you. All I will do right now is action and no talk. What are you going to do? You want me to see what I can do? Okay, watch and see. Just watch and see. Let me see this girl here again! I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. Thank you for coming to check up on me. Oh, say that you're stupid acting, father. Look at her. You pretender. To think that I underestimated you. How you should be an actress. You were pretending to die. I wasn't pretending, I almost died. Then why didn't you just die? Are your mates not dying? You think you're too young to die? So you think you're too young? Ah! Favor. I heard you were the one that took the other wife out of the house. It wasn't me. That's not even my business because you can't take me out. Look at me. I find husband tired. Yeah. I don't see. I have been very unlucky with men. And the one that managed to propose to me. I'm here now. I'm married. You tiny thing. You want to take me out of my matrimonial home? No fit. This is not my intention. It can even never be your intention, you small rats. 
If your father is meant to choose between me and you, you can't even be an option. That can never even come. You, I will frustrate you. Yeah? I will frustrate you. You see, it's your acting. You can't even act again. You won't try. Devil. Try me again. I am only a child who was hit so hard by life. I only want to find myself and live happy again. So, tell me, the P.I. Did the P.I. find any couple, person, school or against dead couple? No. They had no enemies and seems to be in good spirit with everyone. No, it's impossible. They were not perfect. There must be someone out there who they must have maybe stepped on their toes, heart, ruined their lives. Tell him to search thoroughly. There must be somewhere who they have ruined their lives or maybe caused pains. I hate when he gives negative response. Tell him I hate it. I will tell him, boss. I have an idea. Let me hear it. Why can't we display Favor's picture as a runaway or missing child? So people with useful information can contact us. Then we can give them a reward in an exchange for the information. Wow. Bravo. You know, Jumbo, for the first time, you've actually used your brains. Good idea. <laughs> but I have to think about it. You know, the police are still in search of favor. I wouldn't want them to know that I am searching for her too. It won't be helping my case, won't be it? So you'll be the first to know when I decide. Hmm. You make sense, boss. Now tell me, how many of her pictures do you have? Because I can't see for one. I have series of them. Oh, really? Let's the Fine girl before. Eh? That I never seen fine girl before. Who do you this day, Vero? Vero, who do you this thing? Like I tell you the truth. You don't say me, Elijah, I'm the lie. The person who do you this thing, eh? You know not. The person who like you at all at all. You know fine now. Hmm? You know fine. See the thing where you draw draw food for your body. See as you did. Look at it. Okay, then I know why I put the food for this house. Food where they chop, they waste for this house. And uh, me, where they like the way they do better work, now they give food like two years to give. Shame to the catch you. How shame was the catch you? You don't get sense now. If you get sense, you don't go there yet. So you walk out from your gate. Come this side, come meet Barrow, where should they wash? You know to say you don't get sense. And they try to make you get sense, but no. You see that kitchen where you talk about? Now my office. Eh? You don't go teach me what you to do. And they teach you what you they do for gates. Eh? Not be you go tell me how to serve you food. Ah, you see how? You see as you the mumuna, I won't make me change my mind. 
Me and Elijah now, I don't decide to say, uh, if I come now, observe me finish, look you finish now. I will give you space. Tear my heart. Put you there, lock and clap. Now you won't smile now. You won't smile and move, Vero? <laughs> I don't also say you the man. This one no balance. You, you, you really the man. Me. Me. You. You the crazy, eh? You, you say what thing? Say you won't balance things. You won't arrange. If I ever see myself balance with you, Let's try me. You see how? You see how? No one now. I don't say you go come for dream now. They beg me, oh. They beg me, make I love you, make I do this. That if you come for physical, you get a form. You get a form, the cabana, you get a form, you get a No problem. If I see myself as your wife, even for dream or for real life, I go delete her. If I even wake up, eh, eh, eh. See you as my husband, now deliverance tricks. Eh, mm. now. <laughs> okay, go sleep. Or you better go drink and go, now Malera, they worry you. You know they okay. Me, Vero, you. <laughs> this one is normal. <laughs> no problem. Okay. <laughs> What do they worry, Elijah? What do you do this boy? See as I find. So they why I do this build. See, make a have... mm. <laughs> Me. You know this young man. I'm the big guy. Ferro no mind them. Ferro no mind them. Na jealous big or kill Elijah. Ferro no mind them. Ferro no mind them. Ferro no mind them. You lied to your daddy. My dear. They have kidnapped us to come and catch you, and people want to kill you. Abi? I did not lie, mommy. Those people will kill me. I want them to kill you. That's why I brought you outside. Mommy, please, now. Nah, don't kill me and everybody close to me. Oh. Kill me? I look as one that will die. <laughs> me that will run. Come no, on, mommy, mommy, please. Kidnapper. Mommy, please, now, nah, mommy. Kidnapper. Mommy, hold your mouth. Kidnapper, come and catch her. Oh, she's here. Mommy, please. Mommy, please. Now, mommy, please. Now, mommy, please. Calm down. I will slap you now. Look at your voice you. now. Look at your voice. Come on, mommy. I think I'm going to make a mistake. Derek, I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to take her out. But she insisted. She said she was tired. And I just had to. Am I lying? Fever. It was just a walk, right? Yeah, Daddy. I needed to take some fresh air. So I asked Mommy to take me out. She did it to make me happy. It was just a walk. But well, Fever, you know these guys are everywhere. Yet you decided to go for a walk. Why? Derek, why are we waiting on this? You should be thanking God that we are safe. That's the most important thing right now. Hey! Did you, did you let to see these guys? They almost fired at us. I dragged Fable. That's it. How we managed to get to the house is just a testimony. Did they see your face? Should we run away from this house? No, no, no. We can't. Anyways, the, the road we passed was not motivated. Ah! Fever, I'm so happy for you. See, they would have just whispered us like that. I think you've been compromised. They have seen your face, so you have to stay in this house until we find a solution to this problem. At this point of my life, honey, well, that's not possible. I don't think they saw me. I can't be a prisoner at this adult. Listen, place. it's a temporary situation, okay? We have to stay in this house and not go out until we find a solution to this problem. Please. Anything you say, honey, is fine. I just feel for the little girl. Mm.
Hey, babe. Please, uh, can you pick for me? Which, which tie fits the shirt? Why are you trying so hard to look good? Uh, because looking good is good business. No. You're trying to impress Gladys. Look at me. Take the tie to the office and let Gladys choose for you. I know you can't wait for her to compliment you. Joan, why are you such a killjoy? Why are you such a killjoy? A joy killer? Looking good or looking smart to work now makes me a cheat, right? It's until I catch you now. I will catch you red handed. But you see this Greek you are speaking now? It won't be necessary that time. At this point, just take these two ties. Don't wear tie. Just take it to the office like this and ask Gladys which one do, should I wear. They wait for her to compliment you. That will be. You are my priority. No one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies are stalking all around you, I'll be right there to be your superman with everything. With the injury on your head, I can see we've made progress. What happened? She was spotted by me around the Green Globe estate. The woman I saw her with, I believe she's a guardian. I believe she lives close to that place I saw them as they were on foot. <laughs> good. Did you take a good look at this woman? Any picture? Yes. I could make a sketch, if that is needed. They managed to escape. I came so close. I see. This is a very evident from the injury on your head. It must be inflicted from a close range. Listen. We have to be on the lookout for this woman. If we find her, she will lead us to where Fembo is hiding. This feels so good. I feel the end of this is by the corner. It feels so good. We are going to mount more people around the estate. Have you considered the suggestion about displaying a picture? You'll be the first to know when I decide. Good job. Send me your details. Cool. office and then you had to follow him down to my own house? I don't understand what's happening here. What's Joan, going on? Joan, come on. Calm down. Take a chill pill. What is wrong with you? Anyways, I'm here today because I'm so happy. Today is the happiest day of my life. And Joan, you will not be a killjoy, would you? Anyways, Derek! Yeah? So you proposed? Oh. I said yes. I'm getting married! Oh. <laughs> Thank you, bestie. Thank you so much. I mean, this is so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, he should be proud of you. You're such a good woman. I'm blushing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you. Just this for you. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can't blame me. I'm just afraid of losing my husband because of my insecurities. 
I'm very sorry. Oh, my dear, kindly have a seat. I'll get some glasses for us to do justice to this. Definitely. <laughs> Please, I'm sorry. Can I hug you? Of course. <laughs> oh, okay. What will you drink? <laughs> You're looking tense. What's going on? So, on my way home, I saw some strange looking men loitering around. I don't know who they are. Okay, at this point, you do not need the soothsayer to tell us they're looking for fever. I am not feeling safe. They spotted both of you outside and assumed we're close by. So they began their search. Honey, we need to get the police. I don't feel safe. No, we can't involve the police because we don't know who the real enemy is. We don't know who to trust. Besides, whoever is after us, he or she could be connected to the police. Then what are you saying? We need to involve the police. You want someone to come in here and just... Kill my family for me. Sit down. Please, I beg you. need to do something. Please. No one is going to kill anyone. Alright? No one is going to kill us. What I need you to do is stay here and make sure Fivo is fine. I have to think of a strategy to make sure I put an end to this. Okay. My priority, no one can hurt you as long as I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy, you'll be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the enemies is talking all around you, I'll be right there to be your superman with everything in me. My daughter, my happiness with everything in me. Thank you, guys. You are my. Who will be? Huh? Who will be? If you talk, who will be you? Because talk with people. My God, don't tell me, say, for this street, uh, bad people, fuller. Uh, I am your madam's mother. No, no, that one, I lie, you. Now, I lie, you. My madam, don't tell me, say, you get mama. You know, every time you say a uh, person won't come visit her. Can you call her? She will recognize me. Is it? Make her call who? Okay, it is that you eh? Bible don't send you, may you can't use me. Tell put my mother for trouble, Abby. You know, go, I come out. Come out, you know what? I, I don't shoot you, no. Eh? Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Thank God you are alive. We, we search for you everywhere. How are you? I'm fine, Mama. Mama, you know her? Yes. Mama? She's your late sister's daughter. Joan, you mean to tell me that you are related to Favor and you didn't recognize her? It's a long story. I met Patrick a long time ago. Patrick promised to marry me and I took him to my parents. 
On that fateful day, he met with Juliet and fell in love with her. I never knew they were dating behind me. He proposed to Juliet and she accepted. I felt really, really, really bad and I complained to my mother. But she saw nothing wrong with it. I felt betrayed. I felt, I felt, I felt bad. I had to cut ties with them. She came back home and I collected. And I told her how Juliet and her husband was murdered. And there was no sign of the child. Everyone would believe it if I got that. There you came, very sorry. I, I apologize for every single thing. I know I wasn't supposed to keep all this away from you, but I was so ashamed of myself. I tried to connect with my sister, but I felt really, really hot. Heaven knows, I never wished her death. I mean, I should have settled with her before anything, but we didn't have time for all of that. Fevo, I am very sorry. If I have to live for you, I will. Please, you have to forgive me, please. For everything I've done to you. Forgive me, Mom. Remember how you saved me from the big bad man that day? Thank you. Let's beg you, Father, please tell me. Mm -hmm. Please, you have to forgive me. Please. Okay. You're just an angel sent to my family. And, I mean, I couldn't have connected any favor ever. Mama, please, help me begging, please. Okay. My little Mama. Please. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It is just more what it is. Who would believe that Joanne and the husband would be the parents to Bebo? My son, thank you so much for being a like you, baby. I will continue to pray for a long life and good health. Amen. May God continue to bless you your family. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm here. You can call me your protector. I will be your daddy. You will be my daughter. I will keep on loving you with no hesitation. Between me and you, there is no separation. Even when the uh -uh. enemy is uh -uh. uh -uh. Don't tell it, Tissu. Now it's more than did it. That's how she popular is. They say anybody will say they will give her 500 k. I talk her. Tamara. This girl get, get all yo. Hey! So because of small madam, now go get money. Small madam, thank you. Small madam, eh? Vero, Vero the very rich. Make a call their number. Mm. Okay. Hello? Hey, that's small girl. We wanna see now, won't see. Yes. I know where she do. I will be the house girl for where she they stay. Yeah. But before I go take giving her updates, now get send me the money first. Yes. I can't know my. Ah, this 
stand down. I don't have any money. I don't have any <laughs> Okay, okay. Hey, Vero. Vero, Darish. Hey. Go down to this one. No. Vero, Darish. Vero, Darish. Hey, turn around. Hey. We can see. Ah. Let's have Vero, Darish. Vero, Darish. Hey, go down to this one. There, there. Mama, I don't know why you're such a boy to me. Mama will show you. I told her. She said she left her shop and she will not leave it for so long. Okay, mm. I'm sorry I'm leaving so early. But I promise to visit soon. And I will stay up to a month before leaving. Seriously? Yes. Grandma, promise. Come. <laughs> I promise, uh, my in-law, I couldn't have asked for a better in-law than life has given me. Thank you for taking care of my daughter and my grandchild. May God bless you so much. Amen. Thank you. Mama, but you don't have to sit down with me. Okay? <laughs> I strongly believe this is destiny. We have been destined to walk this path. And we're nothing but a pencil in the hands of the Creator. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> you can say that again. Okay, I'll take my leave now. <laughs> Favor. Please, be a good child to your parents. I will, Mom. Don't make them to talk too much, oh. I have uh, an envelope in the car. Let me get it for you. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. So tell me that this playing of her picture with the promise of a reward brings good news. Yes, it did. Hmm. The maid that attends to her just called. Really? Apparently, she's illiterate. She doesn't understand on her way. Hmm. She just wants the money. Have you verified the intel is credible? Hope it's not another person trying to ask matters. She is knowledgeable about it. She describes Thomas' height and was able to describe her age. That was the information we did not disclose to the post now. Hmm. I can see the end is near. Go ahead and reward her. Tell her not to breathe a word about what she sold to her employers. Then plan on how to move in. We can't afford to waste more time. Because we have waited too long to condole any delay. I'm happy. Yes, boss. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Oh. She said heartless mother. She said heartless mother. Boss lady. Boss lady. Boss lady. Oh, this is good news. Oh, yeah. hey. You're my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy. Hey, I love my singing though. Because when I have fine voice. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Where's Kaiser? <laughs> You're looking at me. You <laughs> go like I can't sing. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you never know me. <laughs> How much I love you. I'll play. <laughs> Any problem, Vera? Mother, I'm not saying no. I don't believe seeing you and Favor fit their clothes like this too. Mm -hmm. Eh? I don't believe my Favor! Ha! See you now! Hey! Are you done with the work you're doing inside? Hey, madam, I never finish you. I say, hey, make a call there. You say, I did very happy for you and Favor. So, Nana, eh? Come be say she be your sister, Pekin. Favor, so, Nana, still so, Nana, they play now. Hey, my big mother. Uh, okay, Mary, I'm tired of your drama. Please go back to the kitchen and do the job you're supposed to do. Ah, you don't the vest now. 
I beg no this, eh? I'm just be happy for now. I think I'll go back to where they, they pay me. Ha! Pay me! Yeah, you called me. Who has this phone? What phone is this? I saw it when I was arranging your clothes. How did this phone get into your wardrobe? That's not mine. <sighs> okay, like I was expecting you to say it was yours. Derek, how did this phone get into your wardrobe? I found it in your wardrobe. So how is it? Uh, like, it's not yours. How? You have a phone so you can call your girlfriends. That's what you're using this phone for. Right? Derek, open this phone. I don't have the password. Derek, open this phone. Open this phone, Derek. Phone is not mine. I don't have the password. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Derek, open this phone. What is going on? <laughs> Ask your dad. Open the phone, Derek. Just open it. Open it. <laughs> Whoa! My mommy's phone. How is it your mommy's phone? Open it. I thought I lost this phone. It has been here all this while. Hello, guys. My name is Favor. And I'm a fashion here like my mom. See me, can't be. I'm really beautiful like my mommy. I want to look like her. Sweetheart, yeah. you're with my phone. Yeah. Haven't I warned you several times not to play with my phone or even record with it? Wait. Is this not my lipstick on your face? Mm -hmm. Favor! Favor! Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, what's wrong with you now? Is it not beautiful? Hmm? Beautiful, how? Look at her. Come. So guys, my mom is making me hot. Oh, please, yeah. bring it down. Look at her looking like a beautiful masquerade. <laughs> I can show them my mommy now. Mm, come now, you're looking fine, <laughs> my baby. Thank you. <laughs> I know this woman. This is the woman I saw at the supermarket a few weeks ago. I mean, she was looking at me like she knew me somewhere. And this guy, this is the guy that almost shot at Pivo and I. He's the one. That recorded video I just watched can get everyone killed. However, it's a very strong evidence to get the killers apprehended. So I suggest we stay calm and think of the next line of action. Give me a second, I need to use the bathroom.
Honey, I was thinking, I think we should take this evidence to the police station. I mean, this is enough evidence. Before they kill all of us, we yeah. have to. Where is Daddy? We can't go to the police station now. Those guys would catch up with us and kill us. I suggest we stay here. This place is safer for us. Please. What if they've already seen us? What if they know? What if they're close? They've seen our faces. They know us already. Please, I'm begging you. Please. Please. Where do you define? Why are you going to enter this gate? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know? Uh, we are plumbers. Plum, 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 plum moto. Who you define? Madam just called us. Come and test us. Madam, don't tell me. Okay, come on. Come on. It's okay. Favor, listen to me. You need to stay calm. Alright? You need to stay okay, calm. Daddy. Everything is under control. Just stay calm, relax, you're safe. All right? You hear that? That is safe, relax. Joan, I'm also talking to you. Because the more you get panicked, it affects her. So you need to stay calm as well. Just relax. I have everything under control. Do you trust me? Favor, do you trust me? Just relax, okay? I have everything under control. Madam Agnes, you are under arrest for the murder of Mr. and Mrs. Patrick, an attempt to murder their child and the foster parents. For that, you have every right to remain silent. For whatever you do now or say will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. And if you don't, the state is willing to offer you one. Officers, you have your own person. Please, can I call my lawyer? You will do that when you get to the station. No. Okay. Can you move? Officer, take her out! I said move! Move. Move now! It's over. It's the last. Let's go!
you don't understand what just happened now. Like, everything is just like a movie. How did the police know we are in this um, situation and they came at the right time? I had reached out to the police when I stepped out to use the bathroom. I realized the bad guys were here. When I saw the gate man lying on the floor, they had attacked him. I didn't want to tell you because I knew you were scared already and I didn't want to add to your... Thank you so much, Mama. You're so brave. Thank you, Daddy. You're safe now. You're safe now. I told you I would take care of my family and I just did that. I love you all. I love you too, Daddy. And I'm happy that we're safe now. <gasps> yeah. We can now breathe. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Mommy said we can now breathe. <laughs> yes, we can breathe now because we're safe. <laughs> you happy? So they are free. <laughs> I love you all. I love you too. Baby. I love you too. My 